man. Hello. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. I guess we'll find out in a minute. And my controller is not working. <laughs> there it goes. It's working now. <laughs> Come on, I don't have all day. <laughs> uh, gosh. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, sorry for that slight delay. Um, I was walking around, you know, getting ready for the stream, making sure I went and got some breakfast, everything else. And when I went to go get breakfast, uh, turns out a member of the household uh, was kind of sick. And <laughs> so so I had to, where I should have been, you know, uh, eating breakfast and grabbing myself a, uh, some water or tea for the stream. I was actually cleaning up sickness, so so I might have to take a break halfway through just to uh, get some food or something because I, I I'm going to be hungry. So anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get this going. Let's get this going. Yeah, we don't care about story. There's no story. Okay, here we go. So. Wouldn't be a lemon stream without being late? Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. If it's not one thing, it's another. Um, please let me know if any of the audio is too loud, too soft, that kind of thing. It should be okay, because I did test it yesterday on the second channel. But just in case. You never know. So. Alright. So, for those of you that don't know... Those of you that don't know, what we're going to be doing today uh, is we're going to be doing the Olympic Torch Run. Now, we kind of need to decide the exact specifics here. Um, where is... I did do a little bit of research. I did ki I kind of research things. Where's... That's Endurance. Okay, yeah. I was originally going to go Swordsman. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do... Very aesthetic. Um, so, let's talk. Uh, basically, the rules of this run. We are going to light a torch as soon as we get to the bonfire in uh, Things Betwixt. So, literally in a few minutes. Um, basically, we will light that torch and then it can never go out. If it goes out, we're going to have to basically... Uh, dark ring, is that what it's called? I don't, I've never actually used the damn thing. Um, the homeward bone back to the last bonfire, but the one that loses all of our souls. Um, so that is the goal. Now, the thing about Dark Souls 2 Torches is it's a lot different than any other games. Um, basically, if we accidentally go through water, if there's like a waterfall we walk through, anything like that, It'll put out the torch. Dark sign. Thank you. Yes, that was the word I was looking for. Um, so so we have to be very careful about where we're walking and what we're doing. Uh, on top of that, there's a timer. Um, your torch is only, al only alive for so long unless you collect more torches. Um, which means that this becomes a speed run. So, my question to all of you. Because this is going to kind of determine how the stream goes. If we are doing it where we have to rely on the timer. Um, or rather if the timer is in play. This is going to be very much of a speed run. And I'm probably not going to be looking at chat very much. Because I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to focus <laughs> on actually getting places as quickly as possible. Um, there is a couple times where you can stop. Um... Like, if you sit at a bonfire, uh, the timer stops. If you're on a ladder, the timer stops, that kind of thing. Um, the swamp area is going to be hell. I, uh, no, the swamp area in this game is fine. It's the, uh, I think you're thinking of the one with all the mages, where it's just water and mages. That is going to be a bad time. Um, but yeah, so can you use those fire butterfly things? You can. The idea is we're going to light it from a bonfire and then run. Um, there's a couple times where Dark Souls tells you, like, there's no bonfire to light and it's a loading screen, so it takes it away from you. Um, so with that being the case, we'll use a, we'll use one of those butterflies, yeah. So, um, 
So again, we have two options. We can either A, rely on the timer uh, and therefore probably not talk to chat too much, or B, I can use a mod that freezes the torch timer and then the only challenge, I say only in quotation marks, the only challenge is making sure that the torch never goes out, which in itself is going to be hell. So, um, yeah, question for you, chat. Which uh, which one would you rather have? We can do either. Speedrun is the way to go so far. We play that music in the little <laughs> torch. I forgot that they do that. Yeah, so go ahead and decide. No, this will not be torch only. Good God, no. <laughs> we, we would run out of time. We would run out of time. Let's see. Use a mod to freeze the timer, at least for the purposes of research. Okay. A lot of people saying mod. A lot of mod. Okay, cool. All right, good. So in that case, <laughs> wow, literally everyone's saying mod, except for like maybe two or three sadistic people. All right, cool. Um, in that case, give me a second. Let me load that bad boy up uh oh, people are asking oh wow that was I hope that's been not been going the entire time um let's see uh people are asking if you can use the torch as a weapon the answer is yes yes you can and it is awful would not recommend all right let's see i know i saw this earlier give me a second while i play around with things mm, i think it's in scripts yeah there it is okay all right that should be on we should have unlimited torch all right cool uh let me make sure i pull the chat back up here dlc also we're gonna try we're gonna try everything um all right so in that case the entire run is making sure that this torch does not go out. That That is the goal here. I don't really care about any of this. This is all fine. Um, also, since what, what the original plan was to use a bonfire aesthetic in Majula to get more torches, but since we're blocking the timer, we won't need that. So, what should we go with? Eh, petrified something. Why the hell not? Okay. And then I guess we don't need a swordsman now either. Because I was doing that for the uh, <laughs> for the stamina. <laughs> Just wanted to be able to go as quickly as possible. Hmm. What should we pick? What should we pick? How much? How many minutes does a torch last? Each torch that you pick up gives you five more minutes on the timer. So not not great. Well, let's go with the swordsman anyway. Why not? All right. Lobos did this thing a long time ago. He did. He did it without Scholar of the First Sin. He did it with the original Dark Souls 2. Alright, let's go get a few things before we head out of here. And we'll make sure the mod is working. Otherwise, we're going to have to run like hell. Ronan, get out. <laughs> you, you have my permission to leave the, uh, leave the chat? Please do so. No, that was actually pretty good. All right, light this bonfire. Destroy this real quick. And there's our first torch. I guess the only torch. And it looks like there we go. Get that off of there. All right. So make sure we got everything. Everything looks good. We're all set. Let's make sure this works. Light that torch. Timer is not going down. We're good. Okay. It begins. <laughs> Rob's early. I owe you because I use adblock, but I love your work. Aw. <laughs> well, thank you. I think that pretty much makes up for it. Considering that, uh, considering that YouTube does not pay me very much <laughs> per view, uh, that donation is more than enough to cover the last three years I've been on YouTube. So, thanks. Okay, let me try to remember how to play Dark Souls 2 real quick. <laughs> Alright, so... We can go this way just to go use our petrified something real quick. Might as well. Oh, so floaty. Nice and floaty. 
All right, so now moments like that right there where the torch disappears because I have to two-hand something do not count for those wondering um, As long as the torch remains lit after the animation, it's fine. So like if I go up a ladder It's okay Let's see I could be able to put anything in our left hand though well, That'll be fun. Hey Drake welcome to the club Enjoy your emotes Thank you so much for joining. Can't watch the stream because you've never played Dark Souls 2 before? Ah, Well, get on it. You're, <laughs> you're you're like eight years late. I think this came out in 2014. You're a little late, my friend. Uh, this is Scholar of the First Sin. We are playing Scholar of the First Sin. Oh, that was goof. I don't know why I remember the short sword being better, but it, I don't think it is. I don't think it really is. Don't bother dodging with three adaptability. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, silky. <laughs> silky, silky. Alright, let's see. What do we get? This determines the fate of the run. It's a dragon bone. Okay, well, that's nothing. That doesn't help us at all. All right. Now, we could light all these torches lying around, but that's a bad idea, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that at all. Simon, welcome. Welcome, 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 Saltborn. Enjoy your emotes. And Jewel, thanks for your vids. Going to replay Salt and Sanctuary because of you? Aww. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. All right, what exactly is going on? See this torch we got in our hands? It's got to stay lit. It's got to stay lit the entire time. That is the goal. All right, you know what? I guess since we're not like full on recording, recording. Since again, this is just. Um... Oopsies! What did I do? Uh, since this is just research, we can turn up the music volume a little bit, so we can actually get some music today. There we go. Look how it's called a petrified something. I know, right? <laughs> what is this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. You should also install the mod that makes Dark Souls 2 really dark. Oh, man. Limbo 2, huh? Limbo 2? Sean! Thank you so much for your donation. Have you considered Mass Effect Biotics only run? I have, actually. I have considered that. It's such a long game is my only problem, but I guess if you only do main storyline, you'd be okay. Yeah, that might be fun. I haven't played Mass Effect since, oh God, since I was in college. So like a long time ago. <laughs> years and years ago. Might be fun to revisit that though. And I think it'd probably get easier and easier as time goes on. Cause if I remember correctly, the Biotic Got like more and more powers as the series went on. There we are. Okay. Full burner. Thank you so much. Local 7 News. Crazy man runs through dangerous part of town with a mechanic I forgot sometimes was even in this game. <laughs> Accurate. When they, uh, originally, you would have had to use it for sure. Um, but, uh, after a few adjustments, they just kind of ruined the darkness. And so for anyone who's playing with like reasonable brightness settings, it just it just got lost. So All right. So, let's rest at this bonfire. Life is good. Everything's going well. We've got two Estus flasks. We should be fine for now. First time catching a stream? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I would say it's been it's rare to catch me on a stream because I don't do it very often. But uh, all this week, because my computer was dead, uh, I've been streaming on the second channel with a couple casual games. Uh, like we played through Limbo, and we're actually playing through Hollow Knight currently. It's been uh, it's been good. I can see why people stream. <laughs> I can see why people don't edit videos and just go to streaming. Um, it's not something we'll be doing, but uh, I can see why people do it. 
All right, so we're gonna take this. And then we're not going to jump for that, because if we do, we will roll at the end of the jump and ruin our torch. Also, hey, Bread. How's it going, man? How's it going? Avatar! Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy those emotes. <laughs> How old are you? You sound about 28. Oh, that's that's kind of you. <laughs> that's, that's kind of you. Hi, my name's Fate. Thank you so much for the lemon emote there. Really appreciate that one. <laughs> I do like that YouTube apparently has uh, has lemon emotes despite... Uh... <laughs> I, mean, I didn't make those, but that was really cute. Alright, let's see here. If we walk normally and not roll, we're good. We're okay. <laughs> Best of luck with Hollow Knight. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we've... Uh... Honestly, it's been pretty easy so far, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I've only struggled with one boss so far, and chat has told me that that boss, I'm not supposed to actually be encountering that boss as early as I am. So, typical me, secrets breaking and everything else, you know how it goes. It's one of the memory bosses, I don't, I don't, couldn't tell you the name, I think it's the Shattered Vessel or something like that, I don't know. Enjoying it so far, though. I should probably equip the Estus Flask. Why don't you start with that? There we go. Alright. Let's, uh, let's actually equip the thing that I heal with. That'd be good. Chris! Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> you know, those, those emotes are actually really good. Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother? Actually, I think I missed somebody else's donation, too. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait, let me make sure. Don't want to ruin anything. Yep, Gus Bus. If you could have a pizza with hollow meat on it, would you eat it? No. No, that is a... No. <laughs> Do you know where that's been? Do you have any idea where that's been? Thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Is this a no death run? Unlikely. Unlikely. But, uh... You know, we're, we'll try. Because I don't like being hollow. We'll try. We're going to take it slow. We're, we're going to take it nice and easy, make sure we don't goof anything up. But, uh, no promises. Avi! Hello! Hardly see you stream. Really enjoying your challenge runs and videos? Wanted to support? Thank you for the good times and cheers. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. If you want to see a stream, uh, my recommendation would be putting on notifications for the second channel. Um, eventually I'll probably start doing scheduled streams over there. But honestly, it's just whenever I have a little bit of free time, I just kind of pop on and play some Hollow Knight as of late. I think next. I know. I know they've already. Chad has already been asking me what game I'll be playing next on that channel because that channel is meant to uh, catch me up on the actual backlog of video games that I have. I think next we'll probably get into XCOM 2, just because I really want to start making challenges for that. All right. So far, so good. We have a firebomb supporter up top doing his thing. I can appreciate that. <laughs> but the torch goes out when you die. Yeah, that's kind of akin to, uh, like, if I accidentally let it go out the other times, and I have to reset that way. So I guess, similar mechanic. I lose my souls that way, too. Alright. Does the torch have unlimited time? It does for now. Um, normally, no. Normally, it has five minutes per torch, and we would be speed running like hell. But uh, chat voted that uh, we can just take it easy, and that way I can actually interact with chat during the stream. So, if I make this into a full video, you know, after the fact, um, then I'll probably leave the torch timer on, of course, and that'll be half the challenge, so... Reaper of Kings. That's a good name. I like that one. Member for three months. Wow. Thank you. This is your daily reminder to burn them all. <laughs> well, then maybe I'll find a fire weapon. Actually, now that you mention it, there is a fired longsword down, down the stairs there. We should definitely go hit that up. Good call. Thank you for reminding me that that exists. Burn them all we shall. Get out of here with that. Alright. Now, the 
torch also brings about a couple other interesting situations. Like, for example, when we get to Pirate Town, um, we are going to have to watch out for everyone throwing oil urns, because then we will explode. And I don't want to explode. I like making other things explode, but I don't like to explode myself. So. Chat allows cheating. Eh, chat allows me, like, one thing there, so. Um, <laughs> chat's allowing me one thing so we can suffer in other ways. Is my second channel called Shortcut Unlocked? It is. Yes. It's actually, it should be pinned uh, at the top of chat there. Should be, anyway. If YouTube is kind. Oh, God. Alright. So, let's go get the longsword. <laughs> Excuse me. And we can... How? Try that for a little bit. Getting a lot of axes. Getting a lot of axes. Let's see. First time catching a stream, but the challenge videos are really good. Well, thank you. Glad you made it. Oh, yeah. I forgot I'm using a dagger. This is worse. Somehow. <laughs> and this is better, but it doesn't have the reach. Okay. Well, we won't worry about that. And then there's a later zone that hates torches and light. Exactly. We have that problem. Shrine of Amana, I don't even want to think about right now. We got a... There's plenty of problems that we're going to, going to come up with in this run. Time was... <laughs> time is just an added problem. There will be more than enough issues in this run as is. Alright. But hey, look at that. Ten minutes of free time. Yay. Oh god. Stop hitting me. There we go. <laughs> Avatar, your Astora Eviscerator in the ma is in the making. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I just love it when like, you know, the community egg just does things. <laughs> It's always cool to see what you guys come up with. All right, let's see. It's not there. I'm going to not bother you if I can. It's in here. There he is. Okay, it's that far. That's fine. Make sure no one's sneaking up on me. Nope, we're good there. And run. And open. Come on. <laughs> All right, there we go. What's the goal for the stream? See if we can get to the end of the game uh, without this torch going out. Time will tell. I don't actually know if it's possible. Unable to use this weapon. Rufus, member for three months. Thank you for rejoining. Good to have you back. All right, we need some strength, apparently. What's my strength at? Ah, okay, it's only one level. We can manage that. We can manage that. This appeases your pyromaniac side. G good. Always good to appease the pyromaniacs. That's for sure. Watch the stream all night, let's go. <laughs> you can go to bed. I promise, you can go to bed. No roll demon of song boss fight? Ooh, I did not think of that. Yeah. Man, that entire, that entire section is going to be bad, isn't it? It's going to be awful all the way around. Wow, good shot there, bud. No, really, you did it. Nailed it. Ow. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. Let's all just relax and come way over here. And you somehow shot me. I don't think that's accurate. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. I hear the archer over there. Chug a lug. Ooh. Don't you do it. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Alright, we made it. We made it. Jagger. Gold coin and question. Can you backstep in water? That's a good question. 
That is a good question. I don't know. We'll have to try that out. Uh, does the timer go down in menus like if you're blacksmithing? It does. Yeah. The only time it doesn't is like when you're in the middle of an animation, like sitting at the bonfire or on a ladder. Which is uh, obviously less than ideal. Alright, you... I need the key that you're selling. I need that for later. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna go back to Majula. How does the poison from the mill react to torches? Uh, I think it goes out, but if we use the torch on the windmill itself, um, then we'll be okay. Because then all the poison goes away. <laughs> Did Goddamn It Tony do well enough to justify Sip Break? It did, although I think we have a different one in mind for uh, for our next one, so we'll see. Like I said, keep an eye out around Christmas time. We'll, uh, <laughs> well, you'll know. I'll send everything. I'll mention everything. Listerine Clean, welcome. Thank you for joining. How long does an average challenge run take you? Oh, it depends. It depends on which one we're talking. Uh, if it's like a Dark Souls 1 challenge run, probably about 12 hours. If it's Dark Souls 2, probably about 24. Just depends on the game. Depends on the game. Joel, hello from New Zealand. I assume that's New Zealand. Saw one of your vids recently and was immediately hooked. I'm a poor student right now, but hope this helps. Do what you, <laughs> you do what you do. Keep it up. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. I remember the uh, the poor student life. I remember <laughs> being unable to afford a haircut and asking a fellow student to just take the buzzer that I had <laughs> and just like, hey, can you just like run this across my head? I don't even care, just as long as it's not patchy. <laughs> so I remember that. But thank you so much. Really appreciate that donation. In your best interest to go for an OP build that doesn't take too much running? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that is the, uh, that is the goal here. I want to thank you for introducing me to the Salt series. Really enjoying Salt and Sanctuary so far? Excellent. I'm glad you are. Salt and Sanctuary is actually getting an update pretty soon, believe it or not. Uh, lots of uh, lots of glitch fixes and a couple of weapon changes actually. So if you if your favorite weapon felt kind of bad, it's about not to. So that's good. Are you under NDA for that? No, you're not under the NDA. <laughs> you, you can talk about it as much as you want. It's all good. In fact, judge by the way, I know uh, Ob was uh, asking if he could help out with it, so we uh, <laughs> we might have a little help there if we need it. All right, rapier, thousand. Give me a second. Give me a second, I could get that for you. Just pull it off this dead body over here. Well, you know what, hold on. We did just take time to get this long sword. I mean, we might wanna use it. 78, 78, it's pretty good. We'll get um. We'll get the rapier just in case for later. How's that? Let's do that. <laughs> and chat is popping off and I can't really read anything anymore. <laughs> just send him a message? Awesome, yeah. Yeah, if you would kind of tell him what we're doing. I don't know how much he'll actually be able to participate, but, uh, you know, just fill him in. Fill him in on what we got going on. Cody, thank you so much for joining. Much appreciated. I saw a couple other questions. I do apologize. I missed them. Does the torch go out if you're knocked down into water? Probably. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Someone else, I think, asked how I stayed sane during the potato run. Uh, by a hair. It was, uh... <laughs> it was very close. I kind of almost lost it when we got to the Bloodless Prince. That was, that was a bad time. Over a thousand potatoes. It's not a good thing. You still have the Pax Rebalancing mod installed for SNS. It's pretty good. Uh, what we're about to get is better. I'm going to tell you that right now. What we're about to get is way better. So. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> How goes the Descent into Madness? Oh, we're doing just fine. Don't even worry about it. You're starting your accounting degree. Hey, that'll fix your problem, huh? <laughs> that should fix your problem. Enjoy the stream. You'll catch up on the VOD. Sounds good, Tegan. Take care. Thanks for popping by. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Ew, Longsword has a swipe attack? Oh, I was hoping it had a poke. Man. Alright, well. Ah, uh, well. 
That's okay. We'll burn a, we'll burn a few things, but kind of glad we got the rapier now. Kind of glad we got the rapier now. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. All right. few people. You could feed a small country with that many potatoes. Do you feel bad for wasting them? I didn't waste them. They were used. They went to good use. I'll tell you what. Ow. Get you out of here. What'd you drop me? Oh, garbage. Thanks. And we'll go here, I guess. Not exactly what I intended. And that's... Not a plunging attack. There we go. Make sure we don't fall in that water. It's a tight night. Excellent. And who the hell are you? The line starts back there. Blah. Alright. Nope. Stop. Don't. There we go. Can't two hand because of the torture rule? Exactly. Exactly. Makes it a little trickier. Ow. <laughs> yeah, and so see if we roll into water, we're gonna have a problem there too. So that we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Boulder, how you doing? The first time you played this you didn't get past the giant boy? Yeesh. <laughs> well I'm assuming the second time you played it you did. Also, I apologize if the controller is rather clicky today. Um, it's a new controller. So, uh, as mentioned, <laughs> chat paid for a controller, so we got it. It came in. Life is good. It works real well. No more of this eh, 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 trying to get my <laughs> controller to move forward. <laughs> so, Night shift is fun. You used to work for 16-hour shifts. I also remember night shift, and do not miss it. Do not miss it one bit. Nothing good ever happens at after midnight. Alright. What's your favorite Soulsborne game? Love the streams, by the way. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. What about attacking with a shield? I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We'll see. That might become a strategy. Um, my favorite Soulsborne game... Probably Dark Souls 1, honestly. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Just gonna get you to do that. Ow. Oh boy. And we're not gonna fight him up here. Because that's just asking for it. But I am gonna take this Estus Flash Shard. Ow. He seemed a little upset by the fact that I decided not to fight him. He'll get over it. He'll get over it. Alright, we don't need to go down there just yet. Come back for that in a minute. Oh, this is actually a really bad idea. I should not be rolling through <laughs> through explosive barrels. Hold on a second, let me think about this. <laughs> okay. 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 There we go. Okay. Nailed it. We're good. <laughs> you love it when I say well thank you. I mean it. I mean it. You guys are, you guys are throwing me tips left and right. I gotta, ow, gotta thank you for it. I'm not gonna just be like, hey, thanks. Or at least, I try not to be anyway. You know, sometimes I'm kind of stuck in a moment, so sometimes I miss things. But favorite game outside of Souls: Salt and Sanctuary or Salt and Sacrifice. Um, and if outside of the Souls genre, God, ow, uh, that's, I don't know what I'd pick after that. I'd have to actually look at my to look at my uh, Steam library. That might actually tell us what I actually like the most. I think Terraria has the most, but I haven't played that in years. Gosh, do I play anything other than Souls likes nowadays? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. Hmm. Well, that bears some introspection. Ow. Okay. Well, you can't protect each other that much. Come on now. Just wanna, just wanna go in the door. 
Just want to see what's behind the door. All right, bye. Only stick with that job for a year, for a year and then moving on to something different? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with beefing up your resume. In fact, honestly, um, despite what the previous generation would probably tell you, uh, nowadays, I kind of feel like you have to do that. I mean, God knows I've done that. I've had, like, nine jobs in the past ten years, give or take. Something like that. But that's just the way it goes, you know? All right, let's see. We have a bunch of souls, but we don't really need to stop. Let's let's take that out of here, and let's do that up here. Give that a try, and let's go take care of the giant first, huh? Let's go clear a boss. <laughs> My favorite souls is like this Da Vinci Resolve. Yeah, yeah. If we're going by sheer hours <laughs> on computer, then that is definitely definitely it. Definitely it for sure. Souls likes are insane time sinks though. This is true. The first time you play through one, it is uh, definitely a 24 to 30 hour experience if you're lucky. <laughs> My favorite game is Bad Rats. That is inaccurate. Does armor matter in this game? More than it does in Dark Souls 3. Yes. Alright, let's see here. Give me a few pokes. Thank you for making that even easier to hit. Stamina regen. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Avi, I will not forgive you for that, but thank you. This is a dad stream. What are we? Who are we kidding? Dad jokes are encouraged and groaned at. Ugh. That's the one problem with this weapon. It is too accurate hitbox is too specific. Okay, well, that was fun. Run away. Ah. What is the R2 on this thing? Oh, it's a parry. I can parry? Alright, was not expecting that. <laughs> Sit down, buddy. Relax. Go ahead, relax. Big Mitchy. You should play some Soma for Spooky Ween. Not many jump scares and a big thonker. <laughs> Don't look up any spoilers and pay attention to the story. It's good stuff. I think I actually do have Soma. Maybe. Maybe I don't. Water Creator. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy your emotes. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to October, believe it or not. Normally I'm like, oh god, horror games. But I think this year is going to be okay. This year's going to be okay. Reaper of Kings! The red stuff is meant to stay on the inside, Lemon, but you do you. <laughs> I'm trying. Why did I why did I pop that? I really didn't need to do that. Uh yeah, let's let's head out. I got a few things to buy. Oh, hello. Uh mm, no, none of that, please. There we go. Such a great psychological horror. Oh good. Okay. That's what we like to hear. Is this just a no left hand run? Kind of. It's a no left hand run where if the thing in your left hand goes out, uh, you have to start over. <laughs> so. <laughs> Judge, no. <laughs> Don't do that, man. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> Alright, grab that. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Goodbye. Now let's hold on to these souls. I think we're going to be fine. Someone was given away by GOG. Oh, was it? Definitely missed that. I, gra I always grab the Epic Game Store games. I have not been keeping up with GOG. A man can only have such a large backlog, you know. I, got I gotta gotta limit the line somewhere. But yeah, this uh, this October we're looking at a couple spooky games. It's gonna be a good time. Um, I think what we so far have kind of landed on. <sighs> I know when Alien Isolation Stream was mentioned. Whether or not that becomes a video is unseen. Dead Space 2 is definitely on the docket. Uh, we gotta finish, we gotta continue that run. Don't you hit me. Um, and then from there, we're gonna have to figure it out. I know, I know, I swear I had two more ideas for the rest of the month, but I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. Ow. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come up with some more spooky games to play. For sure. 
should be fun. Alright, that's all cleared out. Let me, uh, knock on this door real quick. There you go. Hello, sir, could I interest you in torch? Perhaps you, madam. Maybe this young lad. None of you? Alright, well, get fucked. Get fucked. Is EGS still giving away games? Every week. And a lot of good stuff, too. If I'm being completely honest. Like, that's how I got Alien Isolation. They've given away... They've given away a lot. Have we done anything with Prey yet? No, we haven't. Uh... And don't worry, I know exactly which one you're talking about. I know you're talking about the one from, like, 1994. Don't worry, I've got it. I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. <laughs> I am gonna have to replay that one. If I remember correctly, I think it's like you're... It's all about aliens abducting you and you're a Native American who uses, like, spirit powers. Probably did not age well. <laughs> if I... <laughs> just saying that out loud, I can tell already that that game did not age well. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, Original Prey, completely different game. Had nothing to do with Mimics. Why isn't the torch timer going down? Uh, chat decided because this is a research run and we're kind of trying to figure out all the dangers of it that we can mod it so that the timer does not diminish so we don't have to speed run. And that way I can actually also talk to chat. So. So, yeah, we're doing that. This run would be torture. <laughs> Alright, one, I see what you did there. And two... <laughs> Uh, yes, it will be pretty rough. I have a route. I did come up with a route just in case, but it would be pretty awful. Not gonna lie. Right, how's my durability? Durability's looking good. I got all that stuff down there. How's my Titanite looking? Where is it? Here it is. Three. Oh, there's a bunch of Majula, though. No, we gotta get back to Majula. We gotta get back to Majula. Prey is also excellent. I'm looking forward to it. It looks good. It looks good. Lord knows I hate mimics. I found the first mimic in Hollow Knight. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> Spooked the hell out of me. In fact, Hollow Knight is a lot scarier than I <laughs> thought it would be. Not a not a fan of the deep nest. But ever since you've been playing Bioshock, you've been wanting to see a Prey video? <laughs> Funny story. Bioshock 3 is the reason my PC died. Oh, which reminds me, this is the, on the PC, by the way. We're back in business. Everything is all good. It was just the power supply. It did its job well. It blocked whatever happened and didn't injure anything else in my uh, in my computer. Uh, just get her going where she needs to go. Yep, there you go. Yes, these are lowly times indeed. Back to Majula. So. All right. Just completed a prey month, or play a little a prey run a few couple months ago on the hardest difficulty. It's fun and enjoyable. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I don't want to rest at the bonfire. I want to light a torch at the bonfire. Thank you. All right. All right. But yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, when the computer died. Uh, we lost the Bioshock 3 footage, but it wasn't too far, so it's okay. We didn't lose the Demon Souls footage. That was, that was the big ticket. I was worried about that. Uh, we don't, I don't really need the, uh, brand armor today. Not right now. Always overbuy on power supply? For sure. Yeah, this time, uh, I did upgrade. I did upgrade. We are uh, rolling. We are rolling in power supply at this point, and allegedly it's actually it's got a lot more safeties on it this time too. So we'll be good to go there. Oh right, I forgot. You don't care about being poked. Well, we're gonna need to go buy a mace. That's that much is certain. Take that effigy though, and this. And this. <laughs> Salute! My PC ended itself. It did, but honestly, I like to think of it more like it retired. That, um... 
that power supply has been in service since I first built this computer. So, like, 10 plus years? It did its job well. It deserved the break. Do I run regular backups? Uh, like, as far as, like, power supply goes? No. I probably should. Considering this is, like, you know, an important aspect of my income, I should probably do that. Is Demon Souls worth it? Uh, well, I'm playing it on PS3, so yeah, absolutely. Um, but as far as, like, buying a PS5 and playing it on there, I don't know. I will tell you, it looks amazing, and the few bosses I've seen and quality of life changes I've seen look really good. But I don't think I would spend $800 to do it. Or, or more. <laughs> At this point, probably. Alright, so we've got the rapier going. Sure, get it to plus four. Um, I'd like to buy the mace. Takes 12 strength, though. Keep that in mind. But we'll need that later, so. Yeah, I bet you will. Alright. And then you have some things for you. First off, here's a shard. There we go. I think you're playing Demon Souls, but you have an emulator, and emulator sucks. Yeah, the emulator version is not good. Um, you're much just just spend the grand total of like eighty dollars <laughs> if you've got if you've got it, or if you have a PS3, uh, just just get it. Just do yourself a favor and get it. The emulator does not do well. You should get Rick <laughs> Richards. You mean Ricard? Ricard's rapier. Um, we can try for it, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit. All right, let's go after our other friend here. Let's go after our other friend, the pursuer. Yay! Do you remember the first time playing Dark Souls 2? I do. I remember playing it back before any of the DLC or anything. It was a thing. Have you ever considered playing Road of the Dead? Don't know what that is. So, no, I haven't. No, I have not. <laughs> Just playing, you can pick up a PS5 at a store instead of paying a scalper. Uh, yeah, that's been a big deal. Apparently, one of my buddies turned me on to... There's like a website that... Uh, I forget the exact name of it, unfortunately. I'd have to look at my tabs. But there is a website that lets you type in like some sort of product. Um, for example, a PS5. And it'll alert you if any of them come into stock around you. So, like, if, you're, if your local GameStop actually decides to sell games for once um, and comes into stock with a PS5, then uh, you can... Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I forgot how good the rapier is. Uh, then it'll tell you. And that way you don't have to, like, you know, constantly check in or anything like that. There's a lot of you here. What's, what's this? What is happening? I don't like it. I'm going to go here. Bye-bye. God, we have to play through Kingsfield. I have not played Kingsfield. And I'm sure it's just... <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be completely fair and not full of bullshit at all. <laughs> hey, kid, that knocks you down. No magic pixels. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Mmm, gloves. Alright. Heading out, but a little cup of motivation before you leave? Well, thank you. Take care of yourself now. Road Dead is you just drive a car through a highway full of zombies, it's super old. Oh. Yeah, I probably wouldn't play that. Doesn't really sound like it. Uh, the torch is going up because... The torch timer is going up is because we're uh, picking up torches. So you can tell we've picked up about five torches. Or six torches, I guess. Alright. Take your lumps. Where are you going? Luke! Member for seven months. A little lemon with my coffee. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I think I go better with tea, but thank you. Much appreciated. That was the wrong way to dodge. Good job, lemon. Alright, well, he's going to give it to us. That's fine. Does anyone else remember the pursuer... <laughs> Music being this kind of, like, intimidating. <laughs> okay, well, that did not work like I wanted it to. Oh, I thought he rolled off. I was like, wow, can you do that? No, 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 wait. Ow. Ow. 
Drink it faster. Okay, we're good. Okay. Definitely need a bit more of adaptability. Could use a little more adaptability in my life. We'll get there soon. Ow. That was a quick attack. Don't remember that one. There we go. Poke him in the butt. Give him a little fish. Thymesia is interesting. I do play it. it plays a little clunky, but past that it was fun. Would definitely love to see me try it, huh? You know, people keep mentioning it. I think that that's a new game, right? That's a new one. Um, yeah, I would. I'd like to try it. It looked. It looked interesting. I think somebody pointed out. I think that it has bombs. So, <laughs> so you know, we're we'll out to give that a look. Yeah, right, let's see here. Now this probably takes off our torch. Yeah, it does. So I won't light this bonfire. We won't light this bonfire. For that is our punishment. Alright. Budster! Is there any difference that you find between Dark Souls 1 Prepare to Die and the Dark Souls 1 Remastered? Um, yes. I would say... Well, aside from the fact that I can use a whole bunch of mods on Prepare to Die Edition, um, I feel like, uh, yeah, let's just go to Majula too, we got so many souls to pop here. Um, aside from being able to do, like, all the really cool mods that I want to do, um, I also felt like Remaster was just kind of shit. <laughs> you know, like, I should not, uh, I should not still have frame rate drops in a remaster, like, a, in a recent remaster, but when you try and fight Sif... Don't ask me why. Uh, I the game literally stutters to death. Like I don't know what it is. So, uh, but yeah, just not. It wasn't very good. Did not really appeal to me. So I just didn't. Uh, I don't play it anymore. I 100%ed it and called it good. And that was that. Glad you're doing this run. You're looking forward to it. Astor, excellent. Thank you. I'm having a fun time so far. All right, let's see. We've got enough adaptability. That's plenty. Um, now, we need to do something else here. Vigor, endurance. Those are good. Dexterity for more damage. Oh, don't mind if I do. And then, uh, ignore the noise. If you can hear this. I'm going to raise my, raise my desk a little bit here. I can feel myself sitting poorly. Can't have that. Okay. I'm also hearing some beeping in the background. I think my... <laughs> I think the sick blankets are done. Might have to look into that. Uh, let's see here. Before we do that, though, let's pop these souls that we definitely don't need. <laughs> the challenge is getting a copy in 2022. Fair point. Fair point. The Secret World Challenge run when? What would we do? What would we do? I mean, there is fire. If I remember correctly, and blood magic. I was, ah, God, I loved the blood magic. Blood magic was so good. Actually, I think that's what I did. I think it did. <laughs> I think I did magic and blood magic, if memory serves. Right, I'll take that from you, and then you're gonna give me something in return. Thank you. Uh, you're fine. All right. All right, looking good. We've got a nice plus four. We've got a couple thousand souls. To to do something with. Let's see if we can get one more level. Alright. Mortal Shell has some of the most aesthetic armor designs you've ever seen, but nothing I saw the gameplay looked interesting. Yeah, that was kind of the same same thing there. I was like, well, it looks good, but I don't know. You feel the Surge is underrated? I have a feeling you're talking about the Surge 2. Surge 1 was underrated for a reason. Alright, let's see here. We... Let's go, uh... Let's go towards the next area, which is some water. Yay. Blood Magic Pistol. Nice choice. One weapon only. Ooh. But then, like, what would you do, though? Like, <laughs> beat the entire MMO? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. 
I did actually reinstall it lately. <laughs> I watched, uh, what was his name? Josh Strife, Josh Strife Hayes, uh, did a video on the Secret World, and he didn't like it very much, but watching him play it, I was like, ah, I gotta reinstall it. <laughs> so, so I might, uh, might be playing a little bit of that in the future. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, do do do. Do you also look like a California Reason in Dark Souls 2? Um, actually, it's worse. If you die on repeat, uh, you get more and more hollow. To the point where, like, your hair falls out and, like, your your skin starts to, like, slough off. It's really gross. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing still. Surge 1 blows. Agreed. Um, I tried... I tried to uh, get into it for a challenge run. I was going to do pipe only. Like, just that starting pipe only. God, I got so bored so quick. I just got so bored. I don't know. Something about it just doesn't really just doesn't really ring with me, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Fred. How's it going? <laughs> Josh was correct. Secret World Legends is a travesty. I mean, yeah, it's not great, but I mean... Ugh, but the puzzles, though. The puzzles are so good. Saint Stasis! Hello! <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. I recognize that name. Alright, let's see here. I'm thinking we should probably go after Ornstein first. Just because getting to him again after the fact is kind of hard. Oh, I do not have enough stats for that. Well, that's a problem. Ooh. Nice try, boyo. Oh, I was gonna say like, what's what's happening? Why is there another guy? Yeah, that's the one I ignored earlier. Crap. Uh, yeah. That did not do as much damage as I hoped. <laughs> okay. Great. Awesome. Oh boy. You're also playing more Remnant of Ashes again. Gonna do a run using just a repeater and see how fast you can get through it. Hey, have fun. Have fun. Doing the DLC? We're gonna try. We are gonna try, for sure. Maybe we could just run to Ornstein. Is this a torch only run? God, no. <laughs> this is a keep the torch lit run. The torch has to stay lit the entire time. So we have to avoid rolling in water and all sorts of other nonsense. This is uh, Scholar of the First Sin, though. For those of you wondering. <laughs> Fred! <laughs> Get good. <laughs> Why is that an emote? <laughs> who, who made that? Thank you so much. Much appreciated. You did Dark Souls 3 Broken Sword only. It only took 90 hours. Oh, is that all? Ow, oh, you... This could be bad for me. Alright, we're good. Just gonna squeeze that in there. There we go. Now, if we can kill the dragon <laughs> while dodging all this, we should be good to go. How hard can it be? Especially if the dragon's helping. All right, cool. Yeah, that, that's our problem. That's our problem child right there. If we can dodge him. All right, you are causing me grief. Please stop doing that. I will murder you. I don't want to. I will. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. Come here. Hold no. Ugh, really? Okay. Well, rushing isn't gonna work. That sucks. That sucks. <clears throat> well, at least the dragon fire doesn't extinguish the torch. No, it it enhances it. <laughs> Am I having fun pretending to be a town crier? That's ah, been good so far. You know, I saw that, uh, Brett, I saw that uh, essay too. I also did not watch it, so I can't say if it's accurate or not. 
Allegedly, it just talks about, like, enemy placement, which is like, okay. Okay, I, I guess. You hate these knights? Me too! They're the worst. But their weapons are so good. Alright, well, don't do that. Don't get jealous. There we go. You thought I was already at the Dragon Eerie? Hell no. No, 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 no. Just believe and I'll win? Yeah, let me just believe in the heart of the cards real quick. AKA cheat. <laughs> it's not just me, right? Like, Yugi's full on just cheating every episode? Probably. The Dragon Rider isn't riding a dragon? Well, yeah, his dragon's resting over here. Why do you think there's a dragon over here? We're literally going into the stable. Uh, I don't think that's real. That's, hmm, okay. Disagree? <laughs> Gotta give that the old disagree. Do enemies notice you faster if you have a torch? They do. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, let's fix our health bar so we're not gross anymore. <laughs> I cast Dark Magician, I win. <laughs> It's not cheating if you don't get caught. It's not cheating if you ban the person that, or banish the person that caught you cheating to the Shadow Realm. All right. Apparently we're gonna have to go a little slower than I'd hoped through here, so that's fine. All right. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 moment. Yeah, a little bit. This game definitely is a uh, bit of an ocarina of time, if you know what I mean. A lot of, a lot of waiting. And I hate waiting. Let's take the life gem approach here. Out of curiosity, does anybody? <laughs> I summon God in attack mode. <laughs> Dark Souls three or Dark Souls two? Uh. Having played them both recently, Dark Souls 3. I just, it's just, I like the polish. Dark Souls 2 has a lot of great ideas. I'll never say Dark Souls 2 is a bad game, but I prefer Dark Souls 3 over it. Uh, but yeah, uh, out of curiosity, speaking of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, does anybody know where one can get some sort of mod for like an emulator where I can make it so that I only have bombs and like start with bombs? <laughs> Just asking. Asking for a friend. Later, Judge. Have a good one, man. Take care of yourself. Dark Souls 2 favorite boss? Oh. Um. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. Probably something stupid. Probably something stupid. I guess. It's like I really like the Ivory King. But only because he's got like a boss, he's got like a full on battle in front of him. I don't really like him as a as a boss. I just like his arena. Ooh, okay. Well, hold on now. I don't want to fight you both. Why don't you come over here? I'll lure you over with this these juicy backside meats. Yes, come get some. There you go. And there we go. Decent damage. Oh, wow. Okay, that is really quick. <laughs> That's not allowed. Wait a minute. That's illegal. Alright. A friend who likes bombs? Maybe. Maybe. Project 64 is an emulator for PC. Yeah, I know about that. The emulator is not a problem. I'm wondering uh, if there's someone's made a mod that lets me either change or randomize the items. I know there's something that randomizes it. I've seen randomizer runs for uh, for Ocarina of Time, but I don't know if it lets me actually like, pick. I can say like, hey, uh, instead of picking up the <laughs> Kokiri sword, it's gonna be uh, a bomb bag, you know? What is the Olympic torch run? Uh, we have to keep the Olympic torch lit. It's got to stay lit the entire time. So far, so good. But, uh, 
We haven't, um, we haven't gotten to the parts of the game where there's, like, nothing but water and all sorts of other nonsense. So. Wow, okay. Alright. Well, now we're just cheating. Yeah, it's gonna kill me, isn't it? Alright, cool. <laughs> you guys hearing those beeps? Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second. That's... That is the sick blankets telling me that they're done. I'll be right back. Everyone take five. Take a sippy break. Alright. There we go. Alright. I myself also grabbed a sippy break. Is good. Alright. <clears throat> right then. Where were we? Dying repeatedly. Yes, I remember now. Okay. Da -na 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 -na. Okay. Love the content and the mood? Without getting into the intimate details, can you tell me if you're making a living from YouTube alone, or is it part-time thing mostly asking for a friend? <laughs> uh, it is definitely paying some bills, I'll say that much. Um, wasn't always like that. Obviously, we are very far from where we used to be. Um... But it's been it's been good to us so far. What is happening over here? There's I'm just gonna run. I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh yeah, so it is it's definitely starting to pay some bills. Sponsors really help. Um you know, it would probably be more helpful if I was less picky about them and like actually you know, did them <laughs> more often. But uh I just uh you know well, that's just something I know about myself, that if I just start doing things because of money, I get real tired of it, and then I quit. So, rather than uh, do the same thing that's happened in every other job I've done, where it just starts becoming more and more about the money, and then I, you know, feel ill about it, uh, we're just kind of doing it as we can. Just every, every now and again, taking a sponsor that I like, and... You know, somewhat believe in, or actually, you know, like, they know, I know they make a good product, at least, and, you know, just going from there. But, yeah. But you can, let me just say this, though. If you are unwilling, or, no, I'm sorry, not unwilling. If you are willing to sell your soul, like, and don't care, and just go, like, like, hey, what's up, Raid Shadow Legends? You know, <laughs> fucking hire me. Um, yeah, you can, you can pay off your mortgage with the right sponsors. Hell, just get a get a gambling, get a gambling sponsor, and uh, you will you will never want for money again. So I've been told. Thankfully, we haven't been approached by that. But you definitely didn't do anything while you were away. Good. I trust you. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Why do you guys hit so fucking hard? Aha! Aha! Okay, here we go. I just want to kill Ornstein. Is that so wrong? Keep your stands. You hate when content creators will shill out to everyone. <laughs> like a certain legend of the shadows. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't speak their name. <laughs> yeah, no, they reach out probably once a month. I'd say. They, they reach out once a month. But they haven't given in to my demands yet, so... We won't be sponsoring them anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Saber. <laughs> the Backlog, sponsored by Raid Shadow Lemons. Feels about right. Feels about right. Randomly ran into the SNS runs when you were just starting out. You haven't even played them. <laughs> Pretty epic to see the work pay off. Now that we're at 170. Did we hit 170? Nice. <laughs> Wasn't sure if we actually hit that or not just yet, but uh, but yeah, yeah no it's uh it's how far we've come, for sure. Kind of crazy to see if I'm being completely honest. Very weird to me. Back when, <laughs> back when I couldn't fathom having 50 people watch a video and look at us now. Look at us now. We're absolutely, it's even more unfathomable at this point. Just scary to think about honestly I think somebody did the math because I remember in an earlier video I was like yeah like there's like 50 of you that's like an entire school bus <laughs> somebody did all the math I was like yeah you're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna need a lot of school buses <laughs> all right are you just like the worst like what what is your deal you need a shield to deal with I feel like that's what's going on here I need a shield to deal with you when you do that attack can I take advantage of this I can. All right. Okay, we've got a strategy. Let him get up a little bit. Get him about halfway. I've never seen that attack in my life. All right. There it is. There we go. There we go. Can you parry the knights? I mean, I guess I technically have a parry, but the parry in Dark Souls 2 just feels weird to me. Like, I, I have never been able to get it right. So, I, I well, probably not. You'd love to see a Power of Capitalism t-shirt? <laughs> it's on the list. It's on the list. Ooh, okay. Nailed it. Shadow Lemons sound like your assassins. Who told you? <laughs> Oops. Punk. There we go. Finally. Alright. And that Parma would have been... Would have been important. But such as it is. Is YouTube better than Twitch? I think so. It's kind of a different environment, so, and I've, I've heard the arguments, and it's, they're, they're well made. Um, first off, as far as money goes, YouTube is better. Um, Twitch is now kind of not doing so hot, and so they're taking larger cuts of everything. So YouTube will pay you more. Uh, secondly, YouTube helps you build a better community base. For example, like, if I just started streaming straight up, just, just streaming, uh, like you do on Twitch, you know? Ow. <laughs> just ate that one with my face, huh? Uh, but if you just start, like, on Twitch, where, you're, like, you're gonna have to build up from the ground up, you know, earn every single viewer up to a point before you start getting to the bigger numbers. With YouTube, it's kind of the same, but now I have videos. So, if I'm not streaming, it, it's not a situation where, because I'm not currently streaming, I can't make viewers, or I can't make new new viewers, I should say. You know, I've got a nice backlog, it's nice, uh, it's good content, and YouTube just has a better search algorithm, I feel like, since it's Google, you know? <laughs> so, uh, I feel like they help you get noticed better, too. Ooh. Ornstein, no. Ornstein, no! Bad. Uh, so yeah. So between that and just, uh, oh, look, he learned from Smo. Um, between all of that on the technical side, I just kind of also just enjoy the uh, the YouTube community side of things better. Later, dude. Um, you have the ring on, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. I don't need anything that's over there. We'll be fine with all that. Because uh, someone, someone who, one of the big guys, Ludwig, I think it was, who transferred from Twitch to YouTube, he mentioned, like, what the difference is. It's like Twitch, when someone watches you on Twitch, um... It's very much a, like, they're in for the long haul, they know what they're here for. Um, they're going to watch it for, like, an hour or two, something like that. Uh, but, when it comes to YouTube, and I can confirm this, more often than not, people watch you for, like, 15 minutes on average, 
and then sign off to go do something else. So you'll get a lot more views because YouTube is better at promoting you. We don't need this. Um, you'll get a lot more views because YouTube is better promoting you, but also there's a lot more content and a lot more like distracting content on YouTube because like you look, you're watching this, this stream right now, but now look at the thumbnails to your right. Like I'm sure at least three of those grab your attention. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 the struggle. So it's kind of a it's a mixed bag. It just depends on what you like. So, would you ever consider playing any of the backroom games? There's games for those. I've never seen the video. I didn't know there's games. Uh, pfft, no, <laughs> not not really. That sounds terrifying. That's that's some good damage. Let's do that. There we go. There we go. Much better. Which Soulsborne game is the most reskins? Uh, can't confirm it for myself, but I've been told that Elden Ring... Elden Ring has uh, pretty much the same repeats over and over again. I think like 155 bosses, but only 30 of them are, are original. <laughs> or something like that. Have I played the Neo games? Yep, I played the first one. What do I think about them? Uh, well, again, I've only played the first one. I think it's kind of a surge situation where um, the second one was way better than the first one. Can't confirm. Um, but uh, Neo 1 was fine. It was okay, but it had too many systems. Like, subsystems within subsystems. It was just too much. So, uh, it suffered because of that. You're on the phone so you just see me in all your glory, no side thumps distract you. Well, well hey, I'm proud of you. <laughs> just don't scroll down. <laughs> Alright. Elder Ring Torch Run when? Never. Never. If you say Elden Ring fill in the blank run when, the answer is never. Unless it's the firebomb run, in which case, um, probably three months or so, maybe. Maybe for Christmas. Um, the Demon Souls run is almost done, so after that I'm out of excuses. After that I'm out of excuses. Alright, buddy. Let's let's just just shut up over there. Sh shut up. Just sh shut your mouth. Okay. Have I ever played the Yakuza... Oops, wrong way. Have I ever played the Yakuza games? No. I have not. I've seen... I've seen people play them. <laughs> Looks like basically just like a weird game with a weird storyline with a lot of mini games. So. Looks fun. Looks fun. Weird kind of fun. Am I going to play the new game from Neo Studio? I have no idea what that is. Hey. Hey, you. I'm going to talk to you a bunch and then you're going to leave. Okay, bye. Alright, let's see here. Fiber Run is the gateway drug? I know. I know, we'll see. We'll see. If anything is going to make me enjoy Elden Ring or see potential in Elden Ring, it will have to be that run. Because every other time I've tried to get into it, I have bounced off. So. <laughs> You're a fellow non-Elden non Ring enjoyer. Yeah, I played it for about 30 hours total. Um... Never got past the first area, never killed the first god skin. Uh, just basically cleared that first map and got bored. Just got bored. Didn't feel good. Didn't enjoy it. Could already tell that the game was going to ask me for like hours and hours and hours of my time, like triple digits for a single playthrough, and so I just put it down. Because I did not have that kind of time. Just don't have that kind of time. But the Firebomb Saga has to come to an end, so... There will be... That will be when. Alright, we need to start paying attention a little bit here. We're getting closer and closer to the water. Yo! Wow, okay, that's fine. <laughs> if that counts as a hit, then this counts as a backstab. You're welcome. Favorite Pokemon? Um... Please keep in mind that I don't know any of them past Gen 2. So with that in mind, uh, probably 
Well, my favorite Pokemon as far as a like the looks and stuff go are Canine or Growlithe, uh, one of those two. As far as playing with them goes, Kadabra or Alkazam. Imagine having a life. God, I wish. <laughs> God, I wish. Imagine having free time. Wandering Insomniac, would you do a Vanquisher Seal run? You know, people have been pestering me lately to continue the uh, the Fist Only run <laughs> that I did in Dark Souls 1. So, uh, if that was the case, then we would absolutely need to use the Vanquisher Seal. Okay, here's the, here's the water. No more rolling. Lemon, no rolling. Don't roll, don't run, don't 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 breathe, don't do anything. Just just make your way through. It's gonna be okay. Don't look at that. <laughs> don't don't mind that. Don't mind that, just keep moving. There we go. Alright. Twenty to thirty hours if you know where stuff is and don't get stuck on bosses. Yeah, see that's too long. That's too wrong. Can't do that. What do I do for work? I work from home now. Um, but uh, most recently I worked in a psychiatric unit and a hospital. Whoa. Oh, dog, no. Sit, boo-boo. There we go. Yay. Get out of here. Ow, okay, that really hurts. Alright, cool, that's fine. Thanks, thank you, sir. <laughs> bye bye What is this challenge? Uh, we have to carry this torch all the way to the end of the game without it going out. Sekiro run. I'm really bad at Sekiro. Which, uh, it baffles me. I don't know why. I am a band kid. I can play music. I know timing. I'm really good at it. Why is Sekiro so hard? I don't understand. I don't know why it's so hard for me, but it is. I just cannot, cannot block for shit. Okay. My word to victory. Ow, my leg. You're doing a lot of damage. Thank you, I know. It's a nice change of pace. Ow, ow, god! Oh, you ruined it! That was a Titanite shard, you asshole! Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, sippy break, you're right. Ah, that's better. That's better. Mm -mm -mm. How do I endure the rage? Uh, honestly, I just do something different. I just, uh, like, for example, we're not going to go up there again because that Titanite Shard is ruined. Because that was a thing in Dark Souls 2. That is one of the choices where it's like, don't, don't do that. I appreciate you trying to be novel and doing some new, some new ideas, Dark Souls 2. But, uh, adaptability and breaking chests, bad ideas. Bad ideas. Never do it again. If you do it again, I'm telling your mother. You don't, you don't want that. All right. Absolutely love the second channel. Well, thank you. You know, I'm really enjoying it because I can just make content and not care about algorithms or anything like that. It's been fun. Whoa. It's been a nice, uh... Oh, God. Oh, we gotta watch out for the oil urns, too. Fuck. It's been a nice, uh, nice change of pace and a good way to, like, just kind of get a creative, as a creative outlet. So, looking to make forward, looking forward to making some new content for that soon. Back off, back off, I have torch, get out of here. Alright. Take your lumps, give me that. Garbage. Whoa. One of the calmest Dark Souls playthroughs ever. <laughs> well, you know, we, we try to keep it chill. We try to keep it chill. Yeah, if a chest is if a chest is wooden, you can break it. And if you break it, everything that was in it turns to rubbish. So, uh, that's cool. 
What was my first Soulsborne game? Um, it was actually Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1. Uh, and I bounced off it really hard, and I hated it, so I didn't play it again for like eight months. But then I got back to it, and for some, after like trying to realize, I, I think I'd looked up a lot of videos about why people enjoyed it and like some of the lore. And the lore was as like the best I'd ever seen in games up to that point. So I was like, alright, well, now I gotta at least play for the lore. So, uh, after that, though, everything started clicking. Which, I think it tends to be the case with Dark Souls for people. Um, they just kind of, pretty much everyone bounces off of it, then lets it marinate, and then they come back and they like it again. Or they like it a lot. So, but after that, I did that, then Demon Souls to tide me over until Dark Souls 2 came out, and then Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne... It's, I just I just went in order at that point. Just went in order at that point. Oh, this is going to be bad, guys. This is going to be really bad. Oh, shit, I didn't think about this. Okay. Uh, well, let's figure out how to beat this uh, without dodging. <laughs> Ixie, no. <laughs> Go to sleep. Okay, good news. Getting knocked down does not put out the torch yet. But also, bad news, dodging is kind of required. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Crap, alright, we gotta think about this. We gotta think about this. Let's see. Let's see. Take your lumps means accept your consequences in rough moments and move past them. Sometimes. Other times it means... Uh, it means that if you want to be initiated into the group, you gotta take your lumps. You gotta serve your time. And other times it just means I'm just bonking you on the head. Take your lump. <laughs> Favorite firebombs? Original. And original firebombs are best. Have you tried going through the pursuer? I have. We killed the pursuer. Um, unfortunately, when you take the when you take the bird, uh, it actually destroys your torch, and I don't have a flame butterfly, so we're not going that way. All right. If I can just not dodge, if I can make sure that I hold B every time I press B. We should be okay. Well, uh, spoke too soon. We're doing plenty of damage. But it's a matter of getting in there. Okay, so the running attack does nothing next to nothing. Ow. Run away! Run away! <laughs> Ooh. Magic pixel. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know how much health that was. Okay. Good. One swing. Need to not do the rushing attack so I can get more attacks in there. Okay. Two. You gonna do the triple slam? No. Okay. Ow. Run away! Ah! Crap. Crap! Have I ever given up on a challenge run? Several. Several. Getting hit doesn't put out the torch, just your flame. Uh, <laughs> is backstepping an option in this case? Good question. That is a good question. It's a very good question. We can give that a try. Good idea, chat. There we go. Sit down real quick. This boss is kind of easy with dodging. It is if you do enough damage. However, the arena continues to fill up with water. So, dodging becomes harder and harder if you're taking too long. Don't I also have to go through water to reach the lost center? You do, yeah. But, uh, there's less enemies on the way there, so we should be okay. As far as that's concerned. I think I can sprint through that and be alright. Uh, parry... I don't think you can parry bosses in this one. 
I'm pretty sure you can't parry any of the bosses in Dark Souls 2. Tips for the Fume Knight. Uh, yeah, use range. Use crossbow. It works exceptionally well. What's the build? Currently just, uh... Okay. Uh, currently just a really well-leveled rapier. Alright, I tried to backstep and it did not do anything. <laughs> I just... Pressing backstep meant taking a club to the face. Ugh. Man. Hmm. You never knew that water rose in the fight? Yeah, it's because most people kind of... It's like pinwheel. Most people just kind of pour through it. Luke, gifting five memberships. Enjoy, everybody. Thank you so much. This is so kind of you. Seven, Alex, Peachy, Alana, and Fire. Enjoy those memberships. Thank you for being watchers. Much appreciated. You now have access to emotes and a list of wallpapers if you go to the channel itself. But yeah, thanks again, Luke. Much appreciated, man. Too kind. Too kind. You can parry bosses in Dark Souls 2? Did not know that. Have never parried anything in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> I mean, I have, but like, you know, it's inconsistent at best. The more you know. There's something new today. Don't lock on. You can run around more easily. Good advice. Very good advice. Ah! Chat's full of good advice today. What's going on with you guys? You guys feeling alright? <laughs> also, Boyos, thank you very much for, uh, thank you much for your donation. Much appreciated. Alright. Just keep the health high. We'll be fine. Just gonna tank the hits a little bit. No, we're not locking on, but a little bit of... Wow, man, that lock-on was key. That was key. Props to Boyos. Can we get some, like... I don't know. Can we just get some emotes in chat? Maybe some clapping hands or whatever else you guys got. I don't care. <laughs> that was that was a uh, pro strat right there. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Got our thinking helms on this morning? I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Cool, moving on. A ding ding. You hate Dark Souls, but you can't stop playing it. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh no, that also deletes the tower. Okay, hold on, we gotta think about this. All right. So first things first. That sucks. So one way or another, we're gonna we're gonna lose the torch here. We need. Hmm. We're gonna need a butterfly. Who knows where to get a butterfly? While I go level up, where can we go? Where can we go to get some butterflies? Poison is the second most run in Salt 2. You tried doing a dex based poison run and now you're just doing daggers only. Gotcha. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I can see that. The poison buildup is pretty slow. Poison buildup is pretty slow. Doing fire, though. <laughs> doing a fire only status run? Oh. That, that, that stuff kicks ass, man. Well, I mean, you've seen it. You've seen the firebomb run. You know. Someone says, in the hole. I assume they mean the well. Who's the best character in Dark Souls 2? Uh, you're looking at her. You're looking at her. Alright, let's see here. Uh, we actually do have some sublime bone dust that needs burning. We'll do that while we're here. Doesn't the cat have a couple? She might. She might. Let's go find out. What's the goal of this run? Keep this torch lit. Keep this torch lit the entire time. Yeah, the rules are simple. Just as long as this torch doesn't go out, we can progress. If it goes out, we have to go back to the last bonfire and try again. Which sounds easy, but then you realize that rolling through water and waterfalls and all sorts of other things are no longer allowed and... That's the problem. All right, so she does not sell those. Maybe, maybe Malentia. Buildings in the no man's. Oh yeah, that's right. There's some in there, isn't there? 
There is some in there. Well, she doesn't sell them either, so yeah, uh, that might be the way to go. All right. That might be the way to go. But first, pop this garbage. Pop this garbage. Also, it's no shield and you can't two-hand a weapon. Yeah, very true. Very true. What's my favorite Elder Scrolls game? Ooh. Good question. Um... Hmm. I like Skyrim for the... This is, and this is big quotation marks. Polish. Uh, but I like Oblivion for the level of, like, what they let you do. They let you do quite a bit. Like, make your own spells. So. Although I think they added that in Skyrim now. It's been a while. I haven't played it. I haven't played it in a few years. Alright. Uh, 12 strength for the mace. Can now use the mace, that'll help. Nope, didn't want to level up. Let go. Let go! Try to run out of time before the Shrine of Amana. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, darn, we can't do the Shrine of Amana today. Sorry, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. Hey, can you, like, reinforce this a bunch? Thanks. I don't have any Titanite. Okay. What are you charging these days? 800. Ugh. What do I need? Five? One, two, and then three? That's six, isn't it? Fine. Take the souls. Okay. Alright. We are prepared for most situations. Back to here. Let's see what we can do. Morrowind? Morrowind was... Pretty good, yeah, it seemed like, you know, spellcrafting and all that good stuff. My main problem with that, though, was the way that leveling worked, which is like... Oh, you want to use a sword? Okay, well, enjoy missing with the sword for the next three hours. <laughs> until you get to, like, level ten with sword, and then you might hit. You know, it's, uh, I didn't... I thought that was kind of unnecessary. It's like, I'm cool with you taking away the damage of the sword, or like making it not as effective, that's fine, but like at least let me hit. God damn. Alright, let's see here. Where are these butterflies? They're, I think they're up a floor. Back up. Back up, you two. Brother Warren, there's another name I recognize. Thanks for being the powerful gamer that you are, have fun. Aww. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Alright, I think it's in here. How long do the streams go for? Uh, it depends. It depends on the day. I think today we're gonna go for... What time is it? Uh, probably another hour and 20 minutes. I should not have looked at the clock, apparently. <laughs> Looking at that clock killed me. <laughs> Whoops. Sippy break. But yeah, typically, uh, typically a stream goes for about three hours. Give or take. The torch stays lit for forever? No, we are using a mod to keep it lit because I wanted to interact with chat. And if I, if it was actually going down, uh, this would be nothing but a speed run. And I would not be able to pay attention to you guys. So that would be, that'd be less fun. You know, for a video, if I do this into a video, because we're kind of just researching here. Um, if this becomes a video, I will leave the timer on so that it, you know, that's the challenge, I guess, or one of the challenges. Uh, but uh, for today's stream, it's off. For today's stream, it's off. Can we get more Bloodborne stuff? Um, maybe? I don't know. It's it's a fun game, and I like it. But uh, I'm not really sure what challenge wants to do for it, honestly. I know a lot of people are like, oh, do gun only. It's like, that sounds, that sounds awful, man. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. Alright, so you like stabbing people in the back, huh? You like killing people when they're looking at their watches, huh? There we go. Oh, there's a dog in here. Hello, dog. Goodbye, dog. Do you have the butterfly I seek? I think it's actually behind the pot spec there, if memory serves. Should power stands for torches for max torchness? Uh. You can't buy more torches in this game, unfortunately. Hey, there's some Titanite shards. 
And a fading soul. How did you guys get here? Like, there's no way in. <laughs> what? Dark Souls 2, get your lore straight. Do not do gun only? Yeah, I know. I know. Wasn't planning on it. Right, do that. That's better. Actually, wait a minute. I have the Leo ring. What am I doing? I don't need this. Give me the Leo. Thrust damage for days. Let's see. Uh, I might have a throwing weapon or two. Chaos Typhoon! Also gifting five memberships to the community. Very generous of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So that gives us uh, Rogue, Vincent, Elve, Waterfall, and Gavin. Enjoy your new memberships. Enjoy your new emotes. And again, on the uh, on the web, the web, on the channel itself. There we go. I was hoping that worked. Uh, on the channel itself, there's a couple of wallpapers as well. If you're feeling that kind of fancy. There's the flame butterfly. All right, we're good. We got one chance, but that's all we need. That's all we need. <laughs> Backlog's been a long time. I don't know what you're on about. I've been, I've been streaming all week. Not the second channel, of course, but still. <laughs> Yay! Thanks. <laughs> Good things come to those who watch. Apparently. Gun only can actually be super busted because the repeater pistol exists and will destroy health bars. Well, here's the thing. Is, do, if you're doing gun only, do you allow reposts? Do you allow reposts? Like, it, personally, I would. But then, in, like, if you start throwing your fist around, it's no longer a gun run. So. Hard to say. Hard to say. You can break the jars with your torch. You can break the jars with a lot of things, but I don't want to get poisoned. <laughs> So, all right. So we're here. Torch is lit. Don't fuck it up. Don't don't breathe. Don't don't anything. Just just get to the next bonfire. Get there first. All right, should be good. They nerfed the repeater. Oh no. Well, and we don't do glitches, so that's out. What's the second channel? It's actually pinned up above. It's, uh, it's called Shortcut Unlocked. That's where I do a couple, like, one to two minute reviews for games that I play on the, you know, when I'm not doing challenge runs. Um, and as of late, it has been my, hey, I'm trying to get through a game casually. Because uh, I've never played it before and I feel like I should play it. So that is where those runs and those streams go as well. So if you're interested in seeing me play through, you know, through the actual backlog and not just doing challenge runs left and right. And that's where you go. There we are. Your voice kind of reminds me of that guy that narrates the CinemaSins channel. I mean, I don't hear it, but okay. <laughs> I get that a lot. I get not CinemaSins in general, but people. a lot of people say like, Hey, yeah, your voice reminds me of X, Y, or Z. Which is... I guess that makes sense, you know. I guess that makes sense. People have similar voices. So as long as it's not a voice that makes you immediately hate me, I guess. All right. Have I played Hades? I have not. No. I've heard good things, and I've heard it has a grenade launcher, so it's on the list. It's on the list. just have to get around to clearing my backlog a little bit more and, you know... Buying it. <laughs> but yeah, a close friend of mine... <laughs> close friend of mine played it so much that he actually, like, hurt his wrist. <laughs> or not his wrist, what was it? He he injured himself slightly because of how much he was playing it. Which I understand completely. I did the same thing playing Terraria back in, back in the day when it first came out. I played that game so much that I accidentally gave myself, like, nerve damage. <laughs> It was just the way I was holding my arm, but still. All right, there's a couple more dogs in there. Yeah, there they are. Bloodborne can be played on PC using PlayStation streaming service. True enough. 
True enough, but it's not quite the same thing. Diego, man, you have no idea how many hours of entertainment you gave me and my fiance. The amount of hours you keep me sane while working and studying. Oh, nice. I'm glad to be of service. Glad you guys are enjoying the content. Thank you so much for the donation. Also, Stanley, gifting five of us, five of you lucky people, some memberships. Thank you so much. Very generous of you. Bronson, suspicious bacon, <laughs> green eggs. Wow, that works well. Mihai and Blind Sloth. Enjoy your guys' emotes. Chatter's, chatter's popping off absolutely off today. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> you won't see me complaining. Spread that love. Spread that love. Any plans on doing some Terraria runs? Actually, now that you mention it, uh, right before this challenge run that we're currently doing, I uh, was getting some footage for some. Ah, Forlorn. Forlorn, that's not good. Uh, but yeah, I am uh, doing a bombs-only run for Terraria. Might have to expand on that depending on... Some people say that might be impossible, so I... We'll have to see. I think if I... Oh, fuck, I put out the torch. Oh, I put out the torch. All right, well, rules are rules. Go ahead, kill me. I was trying to switch to my mace, and I pressed the wrong button. Oh, hey. Yeah, that, that worked in our favor. Hmm. Damn it. Have I played Remnant from the Ashes? Once. I have played it once. Uh, just to kind of test it out. Seems like fun. Haven't gotten back to it just due to time constraint, but, uh... But yeah, it looks like a good time. <laughs> you refuse to gloss over the nerve damage, Siri. How'd that happen by holding your arm? So, the way... I was playing it on a laptop, uh, and basically what happened was is my arm was positioned in such a way that right and like, the crook of my elbow... Or, not the crook of my elbow, but, like, my elbow was resting on the edge of the table. But, like, in such a way that, like, if you feel your elbow, you can feel like there's a little dimple there, right? Like, there's, like, a small dimple between the bones. There's a nerve there. Apparently. And while it was really comfortable to set my arm like that on the edge of the table, uh, I was also repeatedly slamming that nerve <laughs> for hours at a time. So, uh, yeah, after a while, my pinky and ring fingers started to go numb because I was pinching that nerve over and over again. So, thankfully it went away, you know, with a little bit of, little bit of focused... Dog, no! <laughs> the dogs can push the barrels! <laughs> Okay, well, that's happened. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, that all went away, but, uh, yeah. Was a little nervous about that for a bit there. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your contribution. <clears throat> Toria bombs only sound super hard, but possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the consensus I've got going on. Um, grenades are really good. Like, frighteningly so. But, uh, later on, it's probably gonna get pretty rough. Alright. Hello, goodbye. Uh, what's my opinion on water? Well, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty excited about it. In fact, if anyone uh, has not had any, now's the perfect time for a sippy break. Just saying. Obligatory sippy break. Get it now while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Or cold. Or lukewarm. Alright, dogs. We gotta, we're gonna stand still here. Oh, who's this? Well, we are no longer at a standstill, and now things are even worse. Great. What is this? What is this madness? I want to leave. I want to go literally anywhere but here. All right. Cool. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Grenades are busted in early game, but they fall off in hard mode. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. All right, sippy break. B nades are busted for sure. Exactly. And yes, Terraria does have Molotovs. It's just kind of hard to get them. So I'm gonna have to figure out some methods of grinding for that game. Hot sippy, yeah, like tea. Come on now. Or hot chocolate. Oh, I want hot chocolate. God, I want hot chocolate right now. Real. Wow, that took a lot more health than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Not sure why that happened. Okay. Alright. 
<laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, just gonna run past you. I just, I just want to get to the bonfire so I can come from the other direction and unlock the other bonfire. Is that so hard? Please, game. Please. All right, there we go. All right, so here's the trick. I need to get rid of him while simultaneously getting up that ladder before anything bites me or explodes. Success! All right. Oh, cool. Got the good armor. Ow! What? Are you serious? <laughs> that was a one-hit kill? Why? <laughs> uh, you haven't had a chocolate in so long you feel like you're going into withdrawal? Dude, go get some. It's super cheap. Just go get it. And Vincent, I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. All right, let's 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 pop this real quick. Kind of run out of health here. And also, it might behoove us to uh, invest in vitality next. I think I'm seeing a, seeing a pattern here. All right, let's push forward. Let's push forward. I guess we don't need that bonfire. It's fine. Hot chocolate helps with happiness? Sure does. Chocolate makes you happy. Chalky milk ain't cheap. Uh, no, 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 don't buy chocolate milk. Make chocolate. Make hot chocolate. Come on now. Don't be that guy. Don't be the guy that buys hot chocolate and then just... Or buys chocolate milk and then just heats it up in the microwave. Do yourselves a service. <laughs> what are my opinions on air? Well, I'm breathing it, so... I guess big air gets what it wants, huh? <laughs> it's fine. Also, oxygen makes you happy. <laughs> or high, I guess. Alright, so... You can have this. There you go. Enjoy that. And you can get the hell out of my way. And that kind of hurt. So you can also have a little something-something it up just for you there we go all right Stanley have a good one man take care thanks for stopping by appreciate you uh, I want the soul but we don't have time run right away Nutella on cheese a friend of your husband Tell your husband to get new friends. Clearly he's talking to the wrong crowd. If anything, you guys need to hold an intervention for your friend. Alright. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Fun fact. Everyone who breathes air dies. <laughs> and everyone who drinks water has... Every 100% of criminals drink water. The more you know. All right, so this is upsettingly good. 154. Let me do a little test here. 243 versus 261. Even better. Bonk. All right. Hey, Kendra. Man, every every mod made a stop by. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I am well aware that I can't uh, <laughs> roll through with the Shrine of Amana. It is going to be a bad time. I think I have a plan. But it's not a good plan, so, you know, we're doing what we can. Yeah, this is better. Come on. Alright, see ya. Where's your twin? Oh, he's already up there. Okay. Who's gonna come down first? There you are. Oh, nope, both of you. Cool. Alright, that's my, that's my weak one. Got it. God, I feel like I have no health. Probably doomed. Probably don't have any health, actually. I think this class has the worst health of all of them. Look at that music, though. Who, baby? You know what? Someone asked me earlier what my favorite Dark Souls 2 boss was. I do like this one's music the most. For sure. 
Either that or like one of the rat bosses. I think they have really good music too. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Ow. Ow. Just gonna go in for that rebuttal, but guess not. Eh. <laughs> Give me the old pokeroo. Okay, we just need to get rid of Alessia first. That's Riche. Nope. Stop it. Get off. Okay. One more. Ooh. Take your lumps. Oh, okay. Get the waterproof torch for the shrine. Yeah, let me get on that. <laughs> get right on that. Favorite Dark Souls 3 boss? Um... God, I knew this answer, too. I, I thought about it, because people keep asking me. I should probably know these answers off the top of my head at this point. Uh, Dark Souls 3. Uh, the Dancer. The Dancer is my favorite. For sure. Okay. Well, yeah, that wasn't so bad. First try. Let's go. First try, let's stomp. Need to use more trap cards? Ah, uh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Bada booey, bada booey. Okay. Let's pop all these souls. Elder Ring Firebomb only run? When? Well, here's the thing. The Demon Souls run was supposed to be done this weekend. Unfortunately... Uh, due to the computer dying at the beginning of the week, uh, I did not get as far as I wanted to, so that will hopefully be done by this upcoming weekend, next week. Um, and if that's the case, then I have no more excuses, and Elden Ring, Elden Ring Firebomb Only Run is on the docket. There we go, that's much better. That's better, much better. Woodpeckers? Oh man, trust me dude. Trust me, I know. Alright. How about you make a bonk only run of Dark Souls 1? Already did. Already did. Go look for it. It's called Spell Tool Only. It was a good time. Alright. Let's see here. Moving right along. Blood ha Bloodborne boom hammer only. I don't think that's really a challenge, is it? I mean, it's just kind of like using a weapon that's meant to be good. <laughs> you know? Don't know if that one counts as a, as a challenge or not. Alright, the pursuer's in here. I forgot about that. Hey, buddy. Uh, you might be a... You might be a mace kind of guy. <laughs> You're doing great. Keep it up. Doing awesome. So good. Proud of you, bud. 181 versus 145. Yep. The logic checks out. How come that didn't explode? Be consistent, Dark Souls. Be consistent. That's what you get. All right. Large club. Slightly better than the Mickey Mouse Club. Okay. Do I have one? I do. Tonitrus run. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be tricky because you run out of bullets uh, real quick. Peach iced tea or lemon iced tea? Uh, I'd say peach iced tea. Yeah, peached for sure. For sure. Back off, little dude. And there's bell keeper. All right. Cool. Cool. 
cool, cool, cool. <laughs> you actually swallowed an entire Lego castle. All right, key question. Do you have one of those things that lets you take Lego pieces off of one another? You're going to want to start with that and slowly work your way down your throat until you can breathe again. Or, you know, alternatively, go to a hospital. Those are about the only options you got at this point. Best of luck. <laughs> they run up so silly. They just waddle up at you. <laughs> the legs are so tiny. Ah. Ow. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Yep. Nailed it. There we go. Brick separators are incredible. Dude, we were sleeping on brick separators as kids. We were sleeping on that. The torch is currently modded to be infinite, yes. Because we wanted to interact with chat today. And not just be panic speed running the entire time. So, in order to do that, we turned on infinite torch. Okay, I hope that means that the gate is open, not that it just reclosed. That would be kind of a problem. <laughs> just digest the Lego castle. Yeah, digesting plastic is a little hard. A little difficult. I mean, if you're that kind of guy, you know, power to you. But, uh, I don't think my stomach could handle it. Did you use your fingernails? Oh, yeah. I think we all did. It took me the longest time to realize what that was. I thought it was just a weird shaped brick. I was like, oh, this is stupid. Why would I, why would I ever use this in any of my buildings? And then one day, <laughs> then one day I figured it out and my life changed. All right, there's that, uh, that, well, I kind of forgot. I haven't listened to the music here in so long. <laughs> just straight up just gargoyles music. Okay. Oh, that's terrible damage. Oh my God. Thank God we have this. Thank God we have the mace. All right. Just gonna need you to stop moving. And maybe get a little closer, apparently. Bloodborne played normally challenge. Difficult. Difficult. Might be hard to pull off. It always amazes me how many people are just want to see me play a game normally. Like, you know, obviously... It's fun for me, so, you know, I'm not gonna ever tell you no, but, uh... I don't know, I guess I'm so used to people wanting to see me suffer that it's, uh... It's kind of interesting. All right. Wallpapers are fire. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't make any of them. Those are all from the community. A couple talented members of the community have made those. Now that I think about it, I do have like two that I made. I originally had them on the Patreon. It's just like Patreon rewards. I should probably if I if I haven't put those on there I should. I'll think about that as soon as I'm done with the stream. Ow. I have ninety percent defense against piercing. Well I'm glad we uh we played ahead. Good thinking on my part apparently. Some, some deep part of my mind must have remembered, like, screaming about that at some point, so. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close, baby. Alright, what is happening there? Oh, good, here comes the third one. There's so many gargoyles. Can we not? Asking for a friend. There we go. <laughs> Guys, what if gargoyles put times six? What if? So far, so good. Surprisingly well. Kind of scared, actually. There we go. As long as we don't beef it in the end here, we're good to go. Proceeds to immediately beef it. Oh, 
Nice try, boyo. First try, let's go. Alright. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm glad we got it. I'm glad we put it to some use, right? I'm glad we put it to some use. And yeah, OB made one, Ariel made one. Uh, somebody else made another one. Someone from the Discord made the uh, really, like, starry one. But yeah. Alright. <laughs> Someone's seen the smell, right? Oh yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, Majula. <sighs> Sippy break. Man, oh man. Easy. Easy boss. You know what? Actually, instead of spending... Instead of spending these souls... Oh, I never lit it. Ah, fuck me. Alright. I never lit that bonfire. We need to go unlock Macduff. That is kind of a, a key. That's kind of key right now. Because he sells all the large shards we can use. And with said large shards... Oh, 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 what? Nope, go back. And with said large shards, we can get our, bu our weapons up a little higher. Are we going to do the Dark Charm Covenant? Seems like that'd be fitting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Dark Covenant, for sure. We're going to need some Flame Butterflies, though, before we can do that. Because, you know... Also, there's a lot of water in those areas. That's going to be hell. Should be good, though. Should be fine. Everything's going to be just fine. Just like it always is. There's never any issues ever when it comes to me doing challenge runs. Never ever. All right, too many dogs, too much everything. Let's kind of lure everyone this way a little bit. Okay, well, there goes that. Guess we're going to have to go to the bonfire then. Cool. Excuse me. All right, let's see here. Can we? This time, now that I've got a little vitality under my belt, I actually make it up this goddamn ladder. I hope so. Do I prefer the resistance or adaptability stat? Well, they're both pretty garbage. Um, I guess I prefer adaptability because at least with that... Get out of here. Kick! <laughs> wow. That, like, didn't kill most of them. It's kind of shocking. Wait, is there no way to get back there? Oh, I guess there isn't. Hold on a minute. Am I misremembering? Dog, let me just put you down there. Just just sit down. It's okay. Relax. Um, yeah, at least with adaptability, you can start to get into, like, ridiculous iframes without needing a ring, like you did in Dark Souls 1. Resistance... <sighs> It's, like, the poison resistance is good, but it's just underused and can be mitigated. I've seen the argument. The argument is, like, why would you put points into resistance when you could just put point into, vi like, vitality instead? And they're not wrong, you know? So it's just, it's, unfortunately, it just gets shadowed by everything else. You're supposed to walk on the ledge outside? Yeah. I'm trying to remember how to get to that ledge. Because I don't think, I don't think you can actually get there from here. You can from the other side, but... And I don't think I have another butterfly. Nope. So I can't light that bonfire over there. Which uh, is unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing in here? No, don't speak. <laughs> The Looking Glass Knight has some heavy rain. Oh, I guess. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to see about that. We will have to see about that. Okay, well. Well, shit. Um, I guess what we're going to have to do then. Let's go back. Hooray. Clear out the dogs. Then race up top and kick that barrel down as fast as we can. That's, that's literally what we're going to have to do. So that's, that's fun. 
That's fun. Do I like the tube the same as when I started? Um, honestly, I like it more. I like it more now. Uh, just because now we have a nice, strong community. I get to interact with it, which is really cool. Um, I actually make money on it now, which is pretty decent. Not gonna, not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. The business side of things kind of sucks more. That's, I think that's one of the reasons I like my second channel so much. Um, is because there's no business side to it. Ah, right, I still had the torch. Um, so that's kind of sucky. But, I mean, that just comes with making it into a job, so. What are we trying to tell me? You can go where the chest is and go up by the corner. It's by the door. Oh. Really? Whoops. Well, let's try this strategy first, and if that doesn't work, we'll try, we'll try chat's idea. One thing at a time. Does Bonfire Aesthetic reset consumable items? It resets everything unless it's in a metal chest. If it's in a metal chest, it does not get reset. Okay, so, first step. Murder dogs. Become an animal. No. Sit, boo-boo, sit! Fun fact, did you know that the torch has a damage over time? Apparently. Ow. Just let me, let me take a sip. Behold. Touch, and a little bit of damage. <laughs> Alright. Alright, don't... Where's the... Where is it? <laughs> Where, where's the barrel? <laughs> you can't tell me I came all this way just so it's gone. Where is it? Do they not respawn now? What the fuck? Alright, whatever. Whatever, I guess we'll see what chat- if chat's idea works. If you finish this run in a video, you might actually see the end of Dark Souls 2. Well, to be honest, I did a lot of Dark Souls 2 runs already, so, uh, you can watch those. If you're so inclined to- okay, well, that's fine. It's just 34,000 souls, I'm sure I'll get that next time, it'll be fine. It's, everything's fine. That's fine. Okay, well, shit. This is gonna be a problem. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. But, uh. Oh boy. This could end badly. <laughs> Ripperino. That's a fucking ripping piece, my friend. And now the barrel respawned. Oh, good! <laughs> Unless the Olympic curse swallows you whole. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Alright. I care about my souls more than I care about this stupid thing. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. We, we live in hope. Alright, you need to not be standing on these stairs. Thank you. Goodbye. Get the souls, get the souls, get the souls, get the souls. Okay. Now then, let's see what we're working with. What is this hell? You did it. Well done, chum. <laughs> and thus another, another Olympics went unstarted. Was there more than one? What happened? <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to do this. Okay. For the glory! <laughs> Knew this torch would be coming handy. Nailed it. Uh, I can use the bonfire. You're just not letting me. Please let me use it. I want to use it. Don't be rude. Doggo. Doggo. Good doggo. There we go. Alright. How does this run compare to being there for the first Olympics? Well, you know, Brad, I'll tell you. Um, the hygiene is a lot better. I'll give you that. I feel like, uh, kind of had a bit of that there. Yeah, anyway. Look at these Firebomb Academy rookies. I know. 
I know. Clearly haven't even finished Firebombs 101. God, we have to make a course schedule, don't we? We need to do that. <laughs> Bread, take notes. Is your Dark Souls 2 feeling okay? <laughs> you never seen the barrel stop like that. Neither have I. That was, uh... Yeah, that was weird. Never seen that before. Why do I need another bonfire when I got one in hand? Because I need to warp to this one. Probably. Yes, yes, here's your ember. Alright. First things first. Are any of these weapons good? I don't know. Well, we know that one's good. Um, <laughs> Just great axe, just great axe. Bastard sword. No, not really. Okay, anyway. We have five of these, though. So what we're gonna do... We're gonna take this here rape here and do that. And then we're gonna maybe Yeah, no, my math is good. Buy six of those. It didn't do the same thing to you. Perfection. I have not seen any of those, so we're not gonna worry about that. Cool. Now back to Majula. <laughs> right sound furiously. <laughs> the Greeks were obsessed with cleanliness? Were they, though? Like, what level of cleanliness? Because they didn't have soap. Or maybe they did. When was soap invented? Discovered. I guess, like, not modern-day soap. I'm talking, like, you know, limestone. Suds. I feel like that was invented pretty late, or pretty early in the game. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway. More vigor. Okay. So with that done, uh, we've killed the gargoyles. Let's move on to the servants' quarters. Why is the timer not going down? Because we turned on a mod so that we don't have to rush and scream. Uh, we just have to make sure the torch stays lit is all. Which is proving not terribly difficult so far, but... Uh, Soap Seriously, dude. <laughs> I swear, if this is just a, a lineup to Soap nuts, I'm gonna be... <laughs> I'm gonna be really upset. Um, but yeah, so far it's been okay, but there is going to be some harder parts in this run for sure. Like, for example, uh, the Flexile Sentry was harder than he should have been. Uh, because, you know, you can't dodge in that arena. So, little things like that. Little things like that. I have these. I have two of these gloves. What the hell? Dad stuff coming through. It was nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. Dad stuff's great. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Poke. Got your heart. Soap was invented in 28 BC. Was it, though? All right, a lot of people are quoting it, so I guess that might be true. <laughs> now I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> the Babylonians, man. Well, there you go. I guess soap was a thing. Now I kind of wonder. Were the Greeks, like, totally on board with soap? Or was it kind of a, like, you know, catch as catch can kind of thing? I was never very good at history. Or rather, I was never good at the part that my history teachers always wanted me to learn, which was knowing the numbers. Like, what year was this? What year was this? And the answer was, I don't care. Because, you know, the year isn't really that important in the long scheme of things. But, learning from history, very important. Learning from history, very, very, very important. Right, you guys need to stop. I did not mean to do that. This is going to end badly for me. Oh, wow, well, they actually have a regular attack? Okay. Never mind, we're good. You have nothing I want. We're moving on. <laughs> Source? I don't believe you. Right. You have to with the internet these days, man. If I took what everyone said at face value, I would be dead by now. More than likely. You gotta check your sources, and then triple check them, and then also find three more. 
and Wikipedia doesn't count. Also, today I learned you can't backstab these guys. The more you know. <laughs> you miss all the streams I do on the weekdays because your classes started at 8? Yeah, yeah, to be fair, like, I'm surprised that anyone makes it to the streams at all, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I know they're in the early morning, as are all of my streams, because that's when I have time. But, uh, don't worry. As far as challenge run streams go, they're all going to be on the weekends. So, got you covered there. Got you covered there. <laughs> There's a bonfire behind him. I know, I know, but we just got this one, so we don't need it. It's, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's alright. Everything's gonna be okay. You know what's not gonna be okay? This next part. <laughs> Because there's a lot of water downstairs and it's going to be a bad time. Alright, so. Now that I've put the fear of God into all of you. Oh. Well. Okay. Most of you. <laughs> Hopefully that last one takes his, uh, takes his lumps and realizes that this is not worth it. Oh, hey, you can block with the torch. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. Sprint like hell. Don't roll, don't roll. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Please stop. I'm asking nicely. Ow! Oh god! Okay, well, we fell in. We fell on the stairs. We're good. Nope. Don't you do it. I have key. I have key. Open door. Success. Nailed it. Woohoo! It's the middle of the day, your time? Oh, well, there you go. Well, there you go. That kind of works well for you, probably. You know, little little video for lunch. Alright. So now, with the glory of the torch, we can actually make this boss fight even easier. And we will. Because why not? Here we have 12-year-olds insisting that the wiki is a good source. <laughs> it's a good starting place. Yeah, I agree. It's it's somewhere you can get an idea and go, okay, cool, cool. But then you need to follow that up. You absolutely need to follow that up. Because anyone can change a wiki. And uh, as has been the case in the past, every now and again, someone that's well-known for making wiki articles just kind of loses it and writes anything they want. So, uh... Yeah, can't can't trust that definitively. All right, no backstab. Boo! <laughs> All right. Well, honey, you tried. I'll give you that. You did your best. Considering considering what boss you used to be in the past, you're doing a lot better than you did before. Credit where credit's due. Why did you do that? <laughs> there we go. Little poke. Little poke. Mm, a few more pokes. There we go. First try. No hit. Kind of sad, really. <laughs> kind of sad, really. Alright. Everyone ever wonder why the Lost Center has a sword in her cell? There's a lot of questions, honestly. Uh, don't, don't think too hard about it. When it comes to Dark Souls, just, just don't think too hard. Alrighty. One primal down. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Maybe she lives by the blade. <laughs> Distinct possibility. Pop. All right. So that's taken care of. Um, light torch, light torch. 
Can't let that go away. Let's see, what's next? Could go that way. We did all that. And then there's the well. Let's buy the ring now. So that remains an option to us. But I think we're gonna head towards... I think we're gonna head towards Poison Land. Blah! Okay, ring, kitty cat, kitty cat meow meow, and we're good. <laughs> People following Dark Souls with Thor are inferior, just go hit things with your stick. <laughs> yeah, you know, that that is something you could do for sure. I have acquired ample souls. Thank you for noticing, I'm working out. Let's do 10 there, 20 there, and we'll top off the rest with that. Feeling good, feeling fresh. Cool. Alright, moving on. Hey, tips on how to beat the third lamb. You've been stuck for a couple days. Thanks for the membership. <laughs> well, no problems. Um, my advice would be you're going to want to learn the rolling more than anything else, so stay light. Uh, keep it fast roll. And when you get to the second phase, which is probably the phase you're having trouble with, any time he does an attack, he immediately follows it up with a lightning breath. So don't get greedy in that. Just, you know, dodge the first attack and immediately dodge because you're going to get blasted with lightning for another one. Uh, after that, get in a hit and uh, repeat. Also, he's weak to fire. So uh, buy some fire pages and uh, buff up that weapon when you can. <laughs> Kitty cat meow meow shirt win. <laughs> I don't think we can do that. I don't know if we can do that one. What's this run about? We gotta keep this torch alive. The torch must stay lit the entire time. That's it. Good night, Andrew. Have a good one. All right. Oh, look, Dr. Pepper's got it. The cat ring. Wanted to say that your review of Salt and Sacrifice doesn't make justice of the apparent size of the game's maps. I know. Yeah, they're large, aren't they? They sure are large. But the more, uh, the more Inquisitor tools you get, the smaller and smaller they feel. In a good way. Like, you can navigate around them pretty quickly. That is a basilisk. All right, I'm gonna have you sit down. Followed by you. And because you hit me like a jerk, you can sit as well. Nothing, nobody dropped anything. Bye, Rosabeth, have a good time. <laughs> ben Hart the Juice, man. Hugo! Uh, okay, apparently I wanted some privacy. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you put the torch out when you open the door. Don't you give me sass. <laughs> Don't you sass me. Still no stones? Dang. Dang. Eh. Is this the right door? Survey says no. Other side. Kind of missed that swing wholeheartedly. That's good. Apparently, I am misremembering. There is... Oh, it's only... <laughs> yeah, of course it is. It's down on this door. The one without enemies in it. No, no. Open the door. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Didn't know if I even still streamed. I stream often. In fact, if you click on the link in the live chat above all the rest of it, that's where the second channel is. We've been streaming all week. We've been streaming all week. There's a good 12 hours of footage over there. Oof, that was a little brutal. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. 
I didn't know it would happen. Real. <laughs> Closing doors is a Dark Souls 2 thing. Uh, it certainly is a Dark Souls 2 thing. I think you can do it in Dark Souls 1. Because I remember people in Anor Orlando constantly fucking with each other. So yeah, I think you can... I think you've always been able to close open doors. You wonder if there's a Hugo of... A Hugo of Hugo? <laughs> Don't we all? Alright, let's see here. That way goes nowhere. This way goes nowhere. We have to go this way. The torch does not help with the fog. If anything, it makes it worse. If anything, I can see less now. So that's good. Alright, find the wall. That's the... Ah, the bad ring! Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, yeah, that is actually worse. The torch means they can see me faster. Cool! startled me. Jesus. Maybe I'm not ready for October. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready. Please stay there. Don't shoot me. Don't do anything. Alright, cool. I'm glad he uh, gave me a whole minute there. That was nice of him. That was nice of him. Alright. Up the hill here. Nope, that's not what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for over here. Although I think this is just a fire seat if memory serves. Yeah, dang it. Thought that was more useful. Well, hey, while well, we got a minute. And... Down the way. Hit the spooky tree. There we go. We're through. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, boy. Man. Bob LaDerp, thank you so much for your donation there, my guy. Good to catch a stream. Are you using a mod to keep that torch infinite? We sure are. That is the only thing it does, but yes, we are uh, making sure that we don't run out of torch. That way we can, at the very least, just focus on the actual challenges, like, you know, not rolling in water. <laughs> and things of that nature. Things of that nature. Alright. Not the best game, but the most interesting. Yeah, I'll give you that. I like a lot of the stuff they tried. Like the uh, the fact that a lot of armor has like uh, stat boosts and stuff. Really cool. Really like that. But uh, but uh, yeah, as far as like actual game feel and stuff goes, it's a little clunky. A little too clunky. Hi, lady. I like your tail. It's real cute. And Judge, no, I did not, uh, I did not make that command. <laughs> I should have. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts really bad. Okay. Let's, let's take a minute. Run away. Alright. This is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, she's learning. She's learning. Ow. What the fuck? Disagree. Give me these tails. No? Not gonna give them to me? Fine. Take them by force. There we go. Got it. Now you look normal. Alright, just chill here for a minute. What she thinks about things. 
When's the next stream at? Uh, good question. My recommendation would be to turn on notifications for... Well, I mean, both channels, preferably. But uh, the second channel, for sure, because on that channel, it's basically whenever I have a free moment and I'm not video editing, uh, and I want to play a game, I do a stream. So, I don't make any announcements. So, it just kind of happens, and you just have to... Just gotta be ready. Super secret streams. Less than 100 people. Be there, be square. You'll buy a seat. You'll buy a ticket for your seat, but you'll only need the edge. That kind of shit. Okay, let's see. Lots of water. No touchy the water. Uh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, this is gonna get real bad real quick. There we go. Let's see. I have souls. We need to use the souls. <laughs> no tail weapon? Yeah, there's no tail weapons. No tail weapons in Dark Souls 2, as far as I know. At least not ones that come off right away. You gotta go spend the soul. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Hey, back. I'm dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, later, Dark Pie. Have a good one, man. Is that a sh here? See Have a good one. The corpse in the tree of Nazca's fight has butterflies. Oh, it did. Yeah. You know, nor I am, I'm so used to just ignoring it. We definitely should have gotten that. Dang. Ah, well. Let's see, are we still getting our money's worth on this? Yeah, we are. A little bit more vitality. Won't make that mistake again. Not gonna free artifacts. Uh, no. No, I don't think we need anything that she's got. Don't think so. What's the secret handshake? <laughs> handshake for the stream? I don't know. You guys figure it out. <laughs> you guys figure it out. You'll figure it out. Recently realized you're a miserable person any tips for not being? Yeah, just don't be sad, forehead. No. Um, highly recommend going on walks. Um, seems like it doesn't get recommended enough. Uh, weirdly effective. The human body likes to be in fresh air, and we're getting into that time of year, at least in America, where it's starting to get really nice temperature-wise. So, uh, if you've got any local parks... Or forests or state parks. Go uh go on a quick walk. See if see if that does it for you. Worst case scenario, you're you get some exercise, so I mean can't go wrong. Alright. I think this is important. Probably not. I think it's just a trap, maybe. Yeah. Tiny chunk though. Oh that you know that is a good thing. Oh, what are you doing here? Can you... There we go. <laughs> well, at least Brett self-banned himself. That's good. Thank God. I thought I would have to. Alright, well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I've been telling people to go touch grass. I mean, I'm, t I'm saying it like I I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> Why can't I use this? Why can't I use this bonfire? I don't- Oh, because there's a fucking invader. Hello. Fucking Guthrie. How are we doing? Yeah, no, we did your build. Your build sucks. Get wrecked. Avalon is terrible. You should feel bad. Ow. Unless you get a headshot, apparently. Drop the Avalon. I dare you. I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. Do I have to restart if the torch goes out? I do. Well, not the entire run, but I have to go back to the last bonfire, yeah. Okay, let's see how bad this goes. Traps just have random traps? Sure do. They sure do. Alright, kind of wish I had a crossbow right about now. 
But alas, I do not. This is going to go very poorly for me. If these guys do not die in one hit. Which, they toxic. Great. Awesome. Yep, this is fine. Oh, and they don't die in one hit. Even better. Good. Yep, I'll just uh, die over here in the corner. Thanks. <laughs> Oy, okay. <laughs> mm -mm. Lemon Boys NPCs the game. <laughs> yeah, more or less. More or less. Uh... Warnifex sells flame butterflies? Uh, I was not aware. That is good to know. Might be might be needed in the future. We'll see. Okay, so I think I got immediately toxic the last time that happened, so oh god. So we're gonna need to avoid that happening again. Okay, this is fine. Thank you for your service. Please stop chasing me. <laughs> I do appreciate what you're doing with the kids though. Being a good dad over there. Doing doing great. Keep it up. There you go. Alright, we're fine. Everything's fine. God. Got some plesioth ass hiss boxes over here. Those plessy hitboxes, man, I tell you. Uh, okay. Alright. It's the best shot we got. All the all the puppies are down. That's oh, just the big boy. And I'm using a rapier like a fool. Okay, wow, that's violent. Please don't. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> Admiral Ron, thank you so much. I'll read it in a second. Call these dogs Britney Spears with the ways they're toxic. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> thank you very much. Please get off my channel. <laughs> no, please stay. Please stay. We need those kind of jokes here. We deal with too much seriousness as it is. All these, all these challenge runs. A little levity's always good. All right, all right, fake Sif, do your thing. There they go. There we go. All right, problem solved. First try. Don't, nobody, nobody look. N nobody scroll back a little bit. Just, just let it, just let it be. Just let me have it. Let me have this! Okay. So that's Pharaoh's done. That's good. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Sif's weird cousin. Look, I even said sorry in the super chat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. You're fine. You're fine. Hold on a minute. Pop a soul. No, don't do that. Don't, don't you dare just fucking discard it. <laughs> Just pop that right in her face. <laughs> hey, look what I can do. Okay. Uh, I think... Let's see. Plus 20, plus 20, plus 20. Right, we're still going good. Wikipedia says I did it first try. Let's see? Maybe we can trust it. Maybe we can. Oh boy. Alright. Moving on. Back to it. Wade through the water. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Good. Say hi to the dwarves. Not that one. That one's weird. We don't talk to that guy. You don't even do that fight, so yeah, first try. <laughs> Yeah. More adaptability. Nah. We're fine. 95 adaptability is akin to uh, Dark Souls 1 fast roll. Or maybe it's 105. Maybe 95 is like mid roll. Maybe I'm misremembering it. Yeah, I am misremembering it. If you can get to 105, that's basically like the fast roll in Dark Souls 1. So we could do a little bit more, but uh, we're doing okay. We're doing fine. 
Does this run 100%? I mean, I'm going to have to stop in a few minutes, unfortunately, but uh, I, when I eventually make a video on this, yeah, it's going to be as far as we can get. We're going to go as far as we can, for sure. It's like going up to a cashier and scratching off a lottery ticket. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even buy the ticket there. <laughs> you, just, you just go in there and just like, hey, how's it going? You just start scratching it off right in front of them. Hello, fellow peasants. How's it going, my fellow youths? Alright. Have a good day now. Gonna need you to attack me so I can get that sweet, sweet Leo ring damage. There you go. Much appreciated. Hey, a flame butterfly. How about that? Did not know they dropped those. It's uh, pretty cool. Ow. That was considerably less cool. For that, I'm going to kill you and all your friends. In game. In game. <laughs> All right. Just use a shield. Yeah. Let me just uh, throw that shield on the uh, right hand side there, and we'll. Uh... <laughs> no, that's fine. Hello, spiders. Everyone, be chill. Nobody do anything foolish now. Boop. Just for fun. Uh, would I ever stream or make a video on Risk of Rain 2? I've honestly never played it. So, uh... That'll be a stream that happens on the second channel. When I get around to playing it for the first time. Stay up there. Be chill. I feel like there's more in here. I feel like there's more. Am I wrong? Huh. Okay. I guess it's just the priestess garb. You know what? That feels appropriate. Let's put that on, huh? Represent the goddess and all that. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Ow! Didn't mean to interrupt you guys' live stream. My bad, my bad. <laughs> what are the rules on this Discord? I want to know. Alright, you're too low now. Cool. That's good. Pokey, pokey, poke. There we go. <laughs> That's real cute. That's real cute. Wow. Good good spell there, buddy. So you did you did great. Really really impressed with you. Here, have a torch. Eh. <laughs> oh, I killed that one on accident. <laughs> Show them flame. Show them flame. Learn how to angle down. There we go. Don't die. Don't embarrass yourself. There we go. Oh. One, two. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Hello, my fellow churchgoers. <laughs> How art thou? All right. Uh, 13,000 is probably not even enough to really level up at this point, so let's just kind of keep pushing, shall we? I am the light. I am the light! Ow! <laughs> Wee! No. No, no. Don't you rush me. <laughs> Don't you do it. Come on. Game? Fuck you, game. Alright. <laughs> Stupid rapier. Anyway. This boss is just a free Titanite slab. Pretty much. 
Pretty much. Hey, OB, you made it. We're about to sign off, more or less. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're, we're gonna try and finish one more boss, I think, and I think after that point I gotta sign off and do some more things today. But, uh, Judge Bread should have sent you some stuff on Discord, so, uh, keep an eye out for that. Any chance we could do a weird Dragon Age challenge? Any of the three games, really? You bet you can go with some in interesting, fun, and entertaining. Hmm. You know, problem with that is I've never actually played Dragon Age. So, uh, yes, but... <laughs> gonna have to give me a little time to, to figure out how that game works. <laughs> But yeah, we'll do something. We'll do something. Are there fire bombs? I'm sure there's fire bombs. I mean, that game is basically D and D. Well, actually, that's Divinity Sin. That's what I'm thinking of. But uh, it's D and D based, so surely there's some sort of alchemist fire or fireballs. I'm sure there's fireball. Uh, there we go. Take this here, Radiant Life Gym. Hi, hello. What are you guys doing? Just chilling? Alright. Anyway. Time to go fight spiders. Let's go do it. You already talked to them? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Guys, spiders, go away. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, I get it. Understood. Don't touch the children. That, that kid, don't don't quote that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's poke this one in the face and call it good. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Really? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I can spam some fire bombs because it's the only reason why you sub. <laughs> I mean, hell, we're gonna need them. I'll take all the fire bombs you got. I'll take all the fire bombs you got. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's actually get that health back real quick. Make myself pretty. I'm wearing the priest clothes too. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing it right. Just doing it right. There we go. Oh, I fucking that off. Ugh, I pressed Y instead of right. Alright. Go back. Whamp. Goofed it. Goofed it. Try again. Okay. Moving along. We can do this. <laughs> Optical. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This time. This time I smash your face in. There we go. Oh, it doesn't just give it to me? Okay. Uh, actually useful. Good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if that's the quote we're going with, I guess that's... Uh, I'm okay with that. Bob, thank you so much for joining as well. Much appreciated. Enjoy your emotes and wallpapers. And Big Mitchy, thank you so much for the donation. What's the average volume of a bath? <laughs> Usually silent. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oof, I'm gonna tell Mrs. Lemon that one. She's gonna... <laughs> I'll sleep out on the couch tonight, but it's gonna be worth it. Ow. Ow. Quit. Hitting me. Nah, Mrs. Lemon's really good. <clears throat> She's really good at those kind of jokes, too. The worst one she ever told me, worst mom joke she ever told me, or made, I should say, was uh, I had just come home from a long day at work, right? And she sent me a text saying, Hey, I made you brownies, they're on the counter. What do you think I found? If your answer was a 
paper, like, brown E. I like a construction paper, brown construction paper, letter E, sitting on the counter? You would be correct. Needless to say, I was a little upset. <laughs> but it was... But goddamn, was it good, though. That is... It was upsetting, but, like, one of the best jokes... I couldn't be too mad at it, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't be mad. Paul, Castle, and Justin, thank you so much for joining, you guys. Welcome to the Dad Club, apparently. Uh, we have yet to figure out what we're actually calling the, uh, the, the membership. You know, it's not like the round table or anything like that, just yet. We haven't, we haven't figured a name for it. Alright, why am I slow? What's happening here? Oh, it's you. It's you doing things. Okay, alright, let's, let's, uh, mm, let's go anywhere but here, apparently. This genius that's evil? I know. Like I said, though, you can't get mad at it. It's just like, fuck, that's good. I, I don't remember if she actually made brownies or if I just made brownies afterwards <laughs> to kind of make up for it. But, uh, but yeah. She is a very clever cookie. That Mrs. Lemon. As if you didn't know already. Alright. Call the membership Saltborn? I mean, that feels appropriate considering what all of the uh, membership ones are. They're based on Salt and Sanctuary, so... Yeah, I think that's appropriate. We can call them Saltborn. It's kind of the whole reason this channel exists anyway, you know? I know we play a lot more Dark Souls than we do Salt and Sanctuary, but, uh... Gotta respect our roots. Are you dead yet? <laughs> Can you be? Oh, God. Ooh, close call. The bomb bag sound is amazing. I know. Yeah, there's some really good stuff. They're really good. I like the way it all turned out. Would not trade it. Worth it. Got a little greedy, but it was worth it. Also, Strumvogel... Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your emotes and wallpaper. Welcome to this. Welcome to the Saltborn. Yeah, it has a ring to it. We can work with that. All right. Well, if you're gonna be a bully about it, jeez. <laughs> and I. Oh God. Don't die. Ooh. Okay. That was almost a bad time. <laughs> Did somebody save fire bombs? <laughs> I think they said bomb bag. Oh, we knocked up her head. Ew. <laughs> That's really gross looking. <laughs> That's really fucking gross. Eh. Alright, get out of here. Go, shoot. Go on, get. There we go. Big Mitchie. What did the fish say when he swam into a brick wall? Damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he did, didn't he? He didn't he? Unfortunately, though, I cannot help your soul. That is already too far gone. Too far gone. All right. There we go. Two down. The bomb bag is a community name. Ooh. Welcome to the bomb bag. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know. You know it's too late to retract it now, Judge. I don't... <laughs> hmm. Oh, I just broke a guitar string? Oh, that sucks. That always sucks. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. 20, 20, 20, 20. When do... Where's the... I could have swore there was a soft cap somewhere. Whatever. We'll just, uh, just do a little bit of that. That's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of really bad jokes happening over there. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, that's a lot of really bad jokes. Oh, good lord. You only retracted because you'd already said it. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Well, chat. Aldshin. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for rejoining. Oh, gosh. All right, guys. It is getting to the point in the morning where I am going to have to start doing things. Making breakfast. All that jazz. Um, so far, so good, though. We haven't had that many issues. That said, we also haven't dealt with the Shrine of Amana. So, <laughs> you know, there's there's also that. Um, this was good, though. As far as a research stream goes, this has been good. Um, I think... This will be fun to make a video out of, so I think we'll do that. I think this will be a good video. So, Guthrie, hey, how's it going? Good morning to you, too. We're, uh, unfortunately, you're a little late, but, uh, <laughs> just as it's ending, that happens more often than you'd think. But if you missed the stream, don't worry, all of our VODs are all on the channel. If you just go to the channel itself, uh, you can find them all right there under the live stream playlist. Yeah, that's where it's at. Uh, and if you need more live streams, just uh, click on the link above chat there so you can get to the second channel Because uh, that's where we do a lot of live streaming as well, though. They're much more casual and less challenge run focused so uh, But yeah, go ahead and give that a run other than that everybody. This has been fun. This has been good uh, I'm glad to see the PC is back up and running seems like everything's working well uh, no hiccups in the stream, which you love to see. Um, so outside of that, we're going to be hopefully getting back to it with the Demon Souls Firebomb only run. And hopefully we'll have that ready for you guys by next weekend. And uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear from there. So, <sighs> everybody, take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. 